everybody, welcome back live to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel. Where in this live stream, we are checking out Automobilista 2's latest update. And that is bringing Automobilista 2 to version 0.9.5.1. Now, before we get driving, I will uh, talk about what's in the update. For those of you that are maybe watching this as a catch-up. And uh, I think it's more of just an incremental update. Uh, obviously, 1.0 is coming soon. I think they delayed it by a few weeks. But uh, main things, according to the log of change. Hello, b Stu, Ozarks, Quebec. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, main things. Fix spectator leaderboard position, applied HUD style leaderboard, fix disabled raw replay button, time trial pause, fix monitor camera, all these little fixes here, force feedback, steering rack dampening no longer passes through low force feedback boost settings, fix error in parking force script, adjust lock stop strength, fixed issues with recently added force feedback filter, fine tuned car specific max force, uh, that's for force feedback. Uh, physics, tyre physics, Apala, Formula V, FV10, k trims, slight adjustments to wet tyre compounds, fixed bug causing downshift protection system, a whole bunch of old bunch of physics fixes, <laughs> won't read through more, a uh, bunch of AI calibration and performance and all this stuff, AI optimization, audio adjustments, and... Uh, that is mostly it. So, uh, yeah, as I say, this is on PC. Uh, just like nice little, nice little uh, improvements and polish. I'm going to create an online game so that people can join in. Hello, Thomas. Thanks, Bradley Williams. This stream's not going to be the longest of streams. <laughs> just a preemptive warning. But uh, hopefully we get a few races in. <laughs> My history. This is not going to be a very long stream. 13 hours later. <laughs> I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, just, I'm just a little bit short of breath at the moment. I, th I think it's mostly, uh, I think it's like hay fever or something. I don't know. But uh, we're all right. Um, let's go. Let's go. Um, I've got a bit of It's so good. Uh, right. Let's see, let's see if we notice any changes here. Oh, I like the radical. <laughs> it was a I like the radical. I like any radical. Create a new one. Uh, host settings. So, who's going to join in chat? Hopefully, we, can, we should be able to fill this up. Service called Juga Gamer Muscle. Hello, copper mine. Password is T. Ah, oh, nice one. I think we should we could start off with our with our benchmark vehicle. <laughs> the benchmark car. The rad the rip off radical. Well <laughs> What have I been doing? I don't know. I think my lungs are still recovering from uh Covid-itis from a while back, but I, I feel fine. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> I don't feel ill, which is nice. Uh, here we go. Let's get uh, what what track should we do? Uh, oh man, I did. I, I've had mental insomnia recently though. But uh, last night I, I got good eight hours sleep, so <laughs> top notch. <laughs> Would you ever crack the Enigma code? Try T. <laughs> oh, is your circuit? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking what we should do. Oh, and park. We'll get shouted at for driving the same bloody tracks all the time, but deal with it. Let's do Alton Park. Give it a warm up. 
Seven laps, clear. How long's a quali? <laughs> there you go, court marshal. Thank you. I knew it was coming. Uh, it's always bamboozles me. Where's the quality thing? Session settings. There it is. And then you have to click on this. Give time pe people time to join. That's all right, isn't it? There we go. Give it a little bit of light cloud so it's authentic. You have a no. Well, do you know where uh, Team Muesli? She sent me biscuits. She sent me French biscuits. You can tell the French biscuits because there's a French man on the biscuit. Uh huh. Bonjour. Je suis une biscuit. Uh huh. <laughs> ah oui. <laughs> J'ai vu manger mon biscuit. Oh. Look at that. It's high resolution biscuit action, guys. LG cameras are very good for super close up and you get a nice depth of field, but LG cameras are rubbish when it comes to depth of field for long view. Thank you, LG, for really designing your cameras correctly. <laughs> biscuits, I am. I, I, I've not been buying biscuits, but if people send me biscuits, I've got to eat them, otherwise, it'd be rude. The parrot's the parrot of uh, optimism. food and guns <laughs> hello right um, I think that's all there okay let's go for that hello Joshua I hope so mm -mm -mm. get in the server guys oh did I name did I rename the server yeah I did game of muscle Motel. Oh, it be Stu's the first one in. Nice one. Speedy. Hello, we set drifter. Thomas? Is that Thomas Smith or is that a different Thomas? Th Thomas. Hello, Joss. I could beat Half Life, Alex. It's awesome. I might, I might play mods of it, to be honest. Well, it's weird, Court Marshal. I feel short of breath, but I don't feel like um, I'm, I am short of breath. Uh, when, I, when I think I had the old COVIDs, I, I genuinely couldn't breathe. <laughs> I, was, I felt like I was dying. Uh, whereas now, I just, I don't know. It, it could be because I, 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 I stupidly burnt my, like, uh, esophagus with tea <laughs> the other day I made a cup of tea and I wanted to drink it so bad that I just drank it straight away without without thinking that it was probably still boiling hot and uh, I think I burnt like, my, my esophagus so I think I just feel like I'm short of breath but I'm not actually short of breath I've got a blood pulse oximeter that says I'm fine so there you go I just it just feels short of breath Probably I'm breathing incorrectly. We'll get starting in a minute. Was the chat room thing new on the server list? So pro tip, guys, don't drink uh, tea. And also, if you're in the UK at the moment and you've got hay fever, don't go outside because uh, it's mental. Oh, John Hawley! Hello, Lawrence. Just renewed, no DD girl. Are you, do you not want me to sing it? <sighs> okay, I can I can oblige. Anyone else want to join? We could get going. We'll get driving. <laughs> Maybe can't kind of debate. I I actually in my basement I have a argon and um, not argon. Common common monoxide. I can't hear it. Stevie girl with a Stevie wheel. What a baby, what a beauty. She's a sexy beast. It's a Stevie girl with a Stevie wheel. John Hawley doesn't want to miss this thing, but... Power of the needy. Needy's on the back, needy 
please. Kill me now. It's a DJ girl. A DJ wheel. This song only has four words. Right, let's get driving. <laughs> Thank you for that. Jesus Christ. Thanks, John. And Sam can get back on now. I'm eating your biscuit, Muesli. I just had a cheeky ch chocolate biscuit. By the way, guys, I'm getting married to Team Muesli now. She sent me biscuits. Uh, that's it. I'm now in love with Team Muesli. I didn't like her before, but now she sent me biscuits. That's it. That's marriage. <laughs> Move over, Jeff. She's mine now. She sent me biscuits. She sent you biscuits. I'm the man with the DD wheel, you know, a DD wheel and French biscuits. And I know how to go to Ikea. So. <laughs> right. Can you taste the... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's how that's how they, that's how women take over. Do you know what women do do the old poisoning thing? That's how they murder the, murder men. They poison them. Most poisonings that are like malicious are women. Oh, I I should have thought about that. I didn't think about that. Ah oh, well, at least it's poisoning by biscuit. I can think of worse ways to be poisoned. Ah <laughs> oh, 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 we got new UI stuff going on here. It's like I'm playing Forza. I, I, I didn't read the instructions. I always... <laughs> uh, I know. I mean, to be honest, as I say, if I'm going to die, I might as well die by biscuit. There's worse ways to die. How do you get this off the screen? Oh, no. 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 Ah, oh, there we go. El Perfectio. Look at that. Oh dear, we need to tweak the force feedback here. On my wheel end. Oh, this is this is actually feels a bit closer to R Factor 2. I need to put a bit of lock to horizon on here. Because we're not locked to horizon. Oh, hang on, maybe we maybe I just need to change view. Uh, uh, which one? Because the bonnet view. No, which one is it? I like. I actually quite like R Factor Two. Um, right. We need to. Oh no! Options. Camera. It's like world movement. There we go. I know this looks really bad. <laughs> Play my favourite Sydney sucks. Ah <laughs> oh, no, don't quit. Jeez. See, 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 mirror, mirror, see, mirror, mirror, see. Look at this car cockpit, it's proper steampunk. Oh. There we go. That's better. That's more comfortable for me. Look at it. The clouds are nice. This looks actually looks really nice. It, 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 it. Oh, this is quite nice. Why is this camera so slow? I need to edit that. It's like motion sick RS. Bloody hell. This is a bit like a... Okay, I need to increase steering lock. Oh, look. They're... This car's a lot more balanced. This is good. Okay, we need more rear brake bias. Oh, I broke my... Sorry, car. I broke my button box, so... Uh, this could be interesting. <laughs> I need to re-solder the buttons. Ah, I need to order a soldering iron. Oh, 
this 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 does actually seem a lot more balanced. Four speedback's really nice as well, actually. It's a good car. Right. You can join the server, guys. Search for Game of Muscle if you want to join in. Uh, I need to change the uh, steering lock. Uh, lower is... No, higher is more sensitive in this. Or is it? Yes, it is. 24 is not a good value for me. Uh, I don't know, AB. The dog boy. Oh, hello, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, no, Alton Park's great. I've never, I've never been there in real life. It does look like a... A very Branners Hatchian. Do you know what? It's actually really... They've done a good... I don't know why they've changed it. It, just, it's, it feels a bit more... Cons I don't know. It feels a bit better. The, the back's not crazily popping out. Like, look how balanced that is. <laughs> oh, well, it's really bumpy in this. So they've captured that. I was going to say this. It's, it's bumpy in R-Factor 2. It's not so bumpy in uh, AC. Are we arguing about this being Project Cars 2? <laughs> it's Project Cars 2! The arcade game for those who come... What is going on, guys? <laughs> also, the lights are working well on the uh, Fanatec wheel here. Don't know how clear this is. Anybody buying Fanatec stuff right now, feel free to use my f f affiliate link. See that? It's uh, lining up. It's proper good. Sometimes that bugs out. ACC is good with the uh, wheel lights. And the Formula games are. I find the Seto Corsa can bug out a little bit. Oh, I was reading the chat room. Caught my, yeah, well. What are the curbs like in ACC compared to Project Car This is Automobilista, mate. <laughs> I, I, I don't know Project Cars. I haven't played Project Cars 2 for quite a while now. Oh. Do you know, the lighting looks nice here. The shadows are, what, what's going on? Why does this look so nice? Have they improved the AA? I think they've just, I don't know, maybe they've done like some stealth updates. I guess it's, there's been two updates since I last played this. D -d Doesn't this look really nice? The sky's really nice as well. Do you guys agree with me in chat? Uh, I, I, I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but I don't know, it just looks really nice. Have they added new lighting? looks way more natural yeah it, it definitely looks a lot better I mean I'm using a really nice monitor <laughs> yeah the, the uh, road surface has been picked up really nice this has massively improved the visual quality of this I, I mean I'm not placeboing myself am I but it definitely didn't look as good as Project Cars 2 before and that this makes it look a lot I don't know it, it seems a lot better Nice cardboard cutout tree. I don't mind that. If it runs fast, I would have cardboard cutout trees that run better than 3D trees. By the way, guys, you've got 11 minutes to get in the server if you want to join. Oh. Duh. I need to pay more attention. <laughs> I, need, I need to try this. Hello, Scottish Ian. Woo! I need to try this in uh, VR again. Mm. 
new uh, UI elements as well look nice. Yeah, we just started. It's not going to be a, 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 the longest of streams. Just trying out the new update. This is uh, it's quite it seems like quite an improvement from when I last played though. But the car, I mean, this these cars in particular are. Uh, I've broken my button, but I need to rebind this button. These cars in particular are just really. Um, Probably my favourite in Automobile City 2. Yeah, Skies are... They do have a big impact in any game. I used to think that with the original um, Operation Flashpoint. It's not really clickbait because the title... <laughs> okay, it's a little bit clickbait. <coughs> The titles are um, related to what the content is. I will do, Lewis. They seem, they seem to be popular. I have to get more videos out uh, just because the way YouTube works now. <laughs> I should have I should have been doing videos for the last year. Like I focused on doing live streams too much. Don't worry, I still want to do live streams, but I hadn't found a way to do videos efficiently. And pro tip, guys, you really need to do videos if you're a live streamer on YouTube. Otherwise, YouTube hates you. Totally. <laughs> Stop streaming right now. Make a video. I've already got another video done. I've recorded two videos today. I wanted to get three done, but that didn't happen. Okay. I I should probably move the camera a bit further forwards. T is the password. You have to be quick. C, C, C. Hello, Stephen Putnick. I hope uh, you're not getting. I hope you're not getting shot by the police. <laughs> it's not even funny. I don't know. Why I'm laughing. Man, American police are mental. <laughs> British police look like some kind of cartoon Bobby compared to American police. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you appear to be causing a disturbance. I am going to hit you with my truncheon. Move over to America. It's like, get on the ground now. I'm going to shoot you. Ah, I've already shot you. You're dead. <laughs> in America, in America, it's, um, get in your house. Oh, you're already in your house. I'm coming into your house. I broke down your door. I've shot your dog. And now I've shot your wife and your baby. Get on the ground. Oh, you're moving. I've shot you in the face. <laughs> uh, it's we'll be like that, though. Don't worry. Brit Britain likes to copy America. We're just like 10 years behind you guys. So it's nice. We get, we get like a warm-up. <laughs> we get... <laughs> We get, I get to see what's going on in America to know what's going to happen in the UK in 10 years' time. It's like a, a ball of the future. <laughs> it was uh, an American policeman. What well, he's gone. American policeman that just suffered a, a concussion. I mean, if... In fairness to American police, though, I mean, obviously, all, there's loads of states, so, and some police forces are going to be taken different to others. So, there's not. I'm not talking about. I'm obviously being making it funny. Um, but also, in fairness to police, if everyone's got the potential to have a gun in most states, and you're working as a policeman, why would you risk getting shot? You, you would obviously. You'd be like, okay, I'm going to shoot that person before they shoot me. It, it does, is that a BB gun? Is it a water pistol? 
they put their hands in their pocket, it might be to grab a gun. I'm just going to shoot them. I mean, <laughs> I, I, so, you know, he said America's uh, puts its police in a hard spot, even at the best of times. Whereas in the UK, we just don't have any police because the government's cut them all. So <laughs> we're just, we just self-police in the UK. The uh, Queen phones you up and goes, Yeah, you've been a very naughty boy. You've been, appeared to have shoplifted and uh, we've deemed this to be uh, rather unacceptable. And we are now cutting your tea bag rations for the week. You will now behave, or we will also cut your biscuit rations. <laughs> Philip, fetch me the corgis. Tally ho! And that's how it works in the UK, for those of you that wondered. Anyone in the UK could confirm that in the chat. Norway? Norway's easy to police. They just they just threaten to leave your door open in the winter. <laughs> the police the police just wait until the winter. You commit a crime in the summer. They wait till winter, and then when you're not looking, they leave your door open and your whole family's frozen to death. It's, you know, it's easy to police that population. No wonder they're pretty ch they're pretty chill in Norway. Give me one good reason, punk. I, I really like this car. It's a little bit bouncy, but it's quite nice. No, I've, it's not broken automobile's Monaco. I've, I've got it set to like 20. I don't know what you mean by is it broken. You might be using the wrong camera. If you're on dash cam, you don't have locked horizon. Thanks, Steve. Sense of humour. Ah, the despair, misery, and uh, <laughs> thank you, though. I, Norway's awesome. I've been to uh, Oslo. Oh, hello. Hipster Octagon. I've been to Oslo. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful women everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful women in Norway. Oh, blonde. Everyone's got blonde hair. It's all this snow reflecting the light off the... Uh... <laughs> your, your hair's bleached. Ah, uh, wear socks, more control. Brummy Dino, how the frame rate... Oh, bugger, it's gone. Uh, the frame rate's good. Uh, it's running well. Should, this is probably going to be one of the... This... Well, outside of the Seto Corsa, which is obviously a lot older. But, I mean, this, it, it, this runs the same as Project Cars 2 for me. Sorry if I'm missing chat messages, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Which religion has best force feedback? Um, maybe Sikhism. Possibly Buddhism. Buddhist, Buddhist uh, shave the head, so they're obviously superior. I've already, I've already had it. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's come back. No, I, I feel all right. I, my lungs are just messed up, but I'm okay. The, the, that thing is bouncing all over the place. Uh, it does have dampness settings, yes. Oh, service filling up. Guys, this looks good. I, I love, like, bit of sunshine in computer games. Look at the shadows from the clouds as well. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I was thinking, Brummy. Custom Arts Cars. What's T, t in capital letters? 
What could the password be? Is it the one we've used for the past four years? Maybe. A little bit more lateral grip would be nice. So, yeah, the, the nice thing is, is that the, the slides in this aren't just the back snapping out. It seems to actually slide out as a unit. My, I need to rebuy my brake bias to different stuff. I need to order a soldering iron. Guys, before I end this stream, can you remind me to buy a soldering iron? I need to resolder my button box. Or maybe, maybe, maybe Derek Spears could send me another one. <laughs> no, I, I can resolder this. These button boxes are quite expensive. Uh, I'm using the rate Derek Spears Design Race King. It's weird that it's it's just one of the uh, encoders has come loose. Maybe it needs maybe it just needs screwing on. It's very strange. Um, what is it going to options controls? Uh, Black bias assignments. Where is the brake bias forward? There we go. Oh, bugger. Why can't I draw it? Oh, no. Maybe there's just someone blocking the pits. If I'm not on the track, I don't know if it's going to crash still. Comparing play... Oh, no. Has qualifying finished? Oh, I might have messed up here. Comparing now MS2... 20, oh, what, I, I missed that message. Sorry. I, only can, I can only see three messages on the screen at one time. Actually, will it come up on that chat? No. <laughs> Does anyone know why the clocks are sideways in these cars? That's a good... Oh, yeah. It's like the skippy, isn't it? I don't know if it's because the RPM gauge gets blocked by the steering wheel. Can you preview the setup? Um, yeah. Um, it, you've got all the... No it's the same as Project Cars 2 settings. It's the same game engine. You can change everything on the car pretty much. As long as that car has it. It gives you all the options. Why can't I... Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Well, let's see if this gets stuck. <laughs> You're welcome, Shiny. Please go to the next session. Yes, there we go. Josh qualified first there. Nice job, Josh. Uh, okay. Uh, bugger, how many laps did I have? It was seven laps, I think. Just need the fuel there. Where's the fuel? Oh, that'll do. We're fine. Okay. Uh, what's my load cell strap? I don't know. I'm using the <laughs> the Fanatec uh, V3 pedals. Uh, they're awesome pedals. Uh, I've I've got the the dampener kit, and I just I, I'm going to actually. It's got a green and a red one in there. Uh, a, a red and a half red. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do a video on them soon. Um, but I would make the I would get rid of the sponginess completely if I was well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the red ones in. The last on last I think it's the red ones that the hard ones or whatever the harder ones are. Um, so in terms of that, it's pretty stiff, but I want it stiffer. And uh, it's probably on like 60 or 70 or something. I, d I don't know what the weight would amount to. <laughs> that, they're, for, they're for people that live on the equator, Stephen. Australians have to put the gauges upside down. Uh, you know, if you, if you live in like, um, like Nigeria or South America... Uh, you know, you ha you have to then put <laughs> the dials are sideways. Right, here we go. Yeah. Go! Thank you, Super Sh Shuba, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, appreciate that. We are almost at 55,555... <laughs> they've all gone wide. 55,555 subscribers, which I'm, I'm very happy with that number because it's it's not 777,777, but... Look at those birds. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, that's good uh, netcode there. Bad driving, but good netcode. Whoa, that's bad netcode. You just got launched. I guess that's not netcode. That's car collision, actually, isn't it? Whoa, okay. Yeah, the cars are still reacting a bit to the collision, so that could probably do with a bit more work on it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, no, I'm really happy with uh, all the fives. Turns out on YouTube, you have to make videos for subscribers, basically. R3E's got amazing netcode, yeah. Uh, you can't do proper subscriber counts because YouTube uh, got rid of it. Oh, please don't hit me! Woo! I've got my full spin back on pretty high. This is... What is it? M MCR... Is it? Is it MCR? But I know no, it's called the P1. It's, it's basically... Uh, it's the same sort of spec as a Radical SR3, MCR, or Seller. Really good class of sort of low prototype. MCR 2000, yeah. MRX. <laughs> There's so many of these vehicles in real life. A lot of these, they're sort of this track day, popular track day cars. My dream is to... Uh, I, I would quite, actually, I think I'd quite like to do a lap of the Nordschleifer in a radi radical SR3. I, I think I could probably do that within the next five years. We'll work on it. <laughs> Technio Sim Racing. Or you got is someone having a debate in the chat? We're up to fifth place here. Joss is pounding it in first. Joss is a machine. He's always been good in these cars, Joss. <laughs> R Factor. I like R Factor 2. It's a shame you can't do session hosting in R Factor 2. Hello, Mr. Guy's name. I can't read. Need a translator in here, guys. Oh, nice. I've got a cup of tea next to me. No balls. Look, I guarantee you, if you were driving this car in real life in Alton Park, you would be absolutely shitting yourself. I mean, I would. <laughs> Even if it was a sunny day. In fact, I'd be shitting myself more if it was a sunny day compared to a rainy day, because in a rainy day, you'd have wet tyres and you'd be driving extra cautiously. And wet tyres, as long as the track's damp all over, are uh, quite progressive. Dry tyres are more snappy. So don't give me none of that no balls, Lark. No balls. Also, unless you're on a unless you're on a TT bike driving the Isle of Man TT, you ain't. There's no balls. <laughs> Those guys have got all the balls. There's no balls left after you've the TT guys. Those bikes need an extra 50 horsepower to just accelerate with the with the golden <laughs> uranium balls that they they use. Oh, we're in fourth place here. We've been moving up. Golden uranium. What's the heaviest element? Is uranium uranium is one of the heavy elements? Ah, oh, guys, right. Talking about elements, you guys will like this. If you're geeky like me, you'll like this. <laughs> There's this um, plaque you can buy. Um, it's like a polycarbonate plaque with all the uh, elements, and the, well, the periodic table with elements embedded in it. Obviously, not all of them, because some of the elements would just kill you if you. <laughs> if, well, some of the elements don't last particularly long, <laughs> so you can't really put them in plastic. But um, it's got like all the you know gold, silver, you know, you know. it's got all the main elements. It's even got some radioactive elements. Um, all embedded in like this plastic transparent plate. It looks amazing. It's like 200 quid though. Total waste of money. But absolutely amazing desk toy. I don't know what it's called. But if you if you type in periodic table with elements plastic uh, transparent 
office desk thing. <laughs> it's like 200 quid. Probably cost them about 30 quid to make, but oh man. It, of all the pointless things that I'd like to uh, own, that is. Uh, it's one of them. Radicoslinium? What is that? Did you just make that up? Martin Kilner, my dad raced Alton in the 60s. It had trees lining the track. <laughs> that took some balls. Do you mean literally, as in, if you crashed your car, the trees would take your balls? <laughs> literally and figuratively. Just make sure <laughs> you don't want to get your balls caught on a branch at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> That's the sound effect. <laughs> you don't want to hear that sound emanating from the groin. It's a bad day. Ramsey's he just absolutely pwned it past me. Hello, Mr. Battenberg. I hate you for your for your icon and making me hungry every time. Those aren't apples on those trees. No runoffs, no barriers. Yeah, they didn't really care too much about health health and safety in the 60s. It was more like no health and instant death. <laughs> Jake Bar bloody nipples! AMS2 is the dirt two of track racing. For Mercy Force feedback, nice vehicles, runs great and looks great in VR. I'm killing the yellow car behind me. Physics rival, but not beat other sims, pure enjoyment when the best. Um, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if that if you're just making if you're making a statement or you're asking a question I, or you you want a summary. I would say it's a nice all rounder and the, motors behind this the driving style. Necessity, nice. necessity for money. I'm not supplying money, money for necessities. Ams <laughs> two is the oh. two of track racing, immersive FFB niche vehicles. Runs great and looks great in VR. Physics rival, but not beat other sims, but for pure enjoyment, one of the best. Thank you. I think that was more of a statement than a question. Yeah, no, I think it's an, a good all-rounder, and, and they they keep polishing it. You know, like, it. I mean, just look at it, like, visually now. This looks way better than previous. I wasn't expecting that when I loaded it up. And also, the handling of this vehicle is a lot more consistent. It, it does actually seem like it's starting to deliver on the sort of what I what I wanted. It actually it's gone sort of backwards and forwards as they've been developing on it. Uh, I, I think uh, some early versions have been better in some ways and then worse. Do you know what I mean? It's gone up and down. Um, but yeah, what I want from this, all I wanted from Automobilista 2 is Project Cars 2, but with uh, more of the vehicles that I personally like and the, the handling a bit more polished. And, and that's what they seem to be doing. Uh, what? These guys are... Um, Aeroboying me here. Ow! <laughs> Total punt to pass. It was out of Santos. But uh, GW, thank you for that donation. Super, super, 10 quid, shitloads. Really appreciate that. Do you realise that's like... That's two uh, medium-sized box. Well, that's, that's like two large boxes of Twining's tea. Do you realise if if I was walking in the street and someone just said, "Oh, here's two boxes of Twining's tea," I would like start crying. So, you know, really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you you do feel aspects of Project Cars Two heritage. Uh, some some of the good heritage and some of the bad heritage, <laughs> but. Uh, I I was never a huge hater of Project Cars 2 other than like random bugs and crashes and stuff um, with the cars I liked in it you know there are certain aspects to the to the, to the tyre model and physics that uh, I'm not the biggest fan of but in you know we, as I always say we played a lot of Project Cars 2 on this channel and we've had a lot of really good racing with it so you know, uh, it uses the same time model as Project Cars 2. Uh, this is, well, so a lot of people don't know this, but Project Cars 2 actually has like three time models in it. Uh, it's got like a main time model that most cars use, but there were some other tire, like some other tires in it that use different approaches. Um, 
So, and also you can set up that th those tyres in different ways. You, you know how you set up track grip. That, or there's loads of vari variables to it. Um, so you you will and there will still be innate characteristics to the aspects of Automobilista 2 that you will that are similar to Project Cars 2 because it's the same they're, they're, it's using the same tyre model so if you really don't like those specific innate characters um, or, or they really stand out to you then, then you really you, you know that's always going to be a problem for you but I I never I did, it never really bothered me massively in Project Cars 2. I mean, I, I much prefer the the raw end drive of like a Seto Corsa, personally. Um, but it's like you have to kind of look at all these things in in totality, and then you play each game for what it offers for what you want at that point in time. But for the same reason, I mean, like when I play ACC, for example, you guys know I really don't like the force feedback and many aspects of the physics but i still get loads of enjoyment playing acc um so <laughs> you know i've still got my msw yeah Woo! okay let's have a look at oh joss what happened to joss he dropped down to fourth place we got seventh place guys see confirmed they've obviously made it better we're back in the seven zone. T T T in capital letters, uh, Jesse Rowland. Um, well, I, I'll keep this open. I, w I won't make a new session. Well done, TVDG, D Stephen, Ramzig. Nice driving, guys. <laughs> well, because force feedback's important to me, but it, it so that it just annoys me. <laughs> that that's you know it's what you're driving from uh ab the skippy has different tires on it to other cars the skippy has road tires on it whereas uh the other the other cars are like racing slicks so the grip fall off on skippies is a lot less aggressive also the skippy has um it doesn't have enough, uh, like, his power is really weak, so you don't really have to worry about accidentally lighting up the rears and that spinning around. Um, but the Skippy still suffers from the same problem that the other cars suffer with, where if you go over the limits on the front, um, you you can't bring it, like, you have to wait for it to come back. The, the iRacing haven't worked that out. <laughs> That's all right, Felipe, don't worry about it. I, I mean, I was probably drunk driving. I was probably reading the chat room. Uh, you have the Aogi, Aologi shifter, great piece of kit, and the price is amazing. Yeah, I've got the handbrake, but I've not reviewed it yet. I've not even got it on the rig. Uh, I'm going to get that on the rig soon. Right. Return to the lobby. That will that'll work really nice. It seems to be all the underlying stuff seems to be working a bit slicker here. AB. Uh, I could catch drifts and stuff, no problem. Yeah, you, you, yeah that's... The wider slip on it makes it easier to drift it around. Um, AB, what wheel are you using? I don't. Aren't you using a Fanatec DD? I can't remember. You need to use IR FFB with the other cars. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's another video I need to see. <laughs> Too many videos. So little time. No, I'm. I don't use the Daddy servers. I'm more into just doing my own hosting on on this. I like using Deddy servers are great with AC when I've got Chili Dog and Izzy been uh, slave slaving it. Right, that that car was great, nice improvement. Do we try a Formula car and see how these go? Risk it for a biscuit. Hmm. We can see how this drives, see if this handles differently. The F3 was a bit weird last time. So we'll give it a go. We'll do it on like a... Let's do it into lot. No, let's do it in Imola. See how that goes. We know this. And then... Uh... Yeah. Some Still some slots in the server if you want to join. 
Oh, is there new cars? Hot cars? What's the new car? What's the new car? Uh, the car cockpit. You can turn that off, Thomas. Are you on about in, in this? I'll, I'll show you the settings to turn it off. <laughs> Hot cars. <laughs> Are these like... They had that there before. This Is this one new? <laughs> Hot cars. Yeah, well, we're, we're probably they've probably not been polished yet. Let's do the F3 because this has been in there a while, so... Try this one. Let's give this a go. Are you sure you turned it off? You never flex. You I don't have any muscles. It's it's ironic. It's a, it's a joke. I, I I'm only called. It's only game of muscle because that was the only domain name that I could register as the .dot com like six years ago <laughs> when I decided to do a gaming YouTube channel. Who, who's in the UK at the moment, and who has hay fever? Let me know if you're having a hay fever breakdown. I haven't been drunk for ages. I, I don't drink at all. Right, face Fox. <laughs> You've got corona. Oh, if you do have corona, man, just rest. Just rest. <laughs> don't do anything. Right, this is the pattern I've noticed with people that, um, well, this is what I found, and people I know that have um, have had corona, um, that have then had symptoms from it as well, is that they feel like they feel like crap, then they feel good, then they feel even worse, then they feel okay, then they feel even worse. So basically, just just rest, just just don't do anything. That's my that's my Corona Pro tip. Yeah, it's weird. You got weed, fair enough. Smoke weed every day. I haven't got any weed. It's still not legal. They're gonna have to make it legal because the UK is bankrupt, so uh, they're gonna need the tax revenue. Oh, actually, no, that's stupid of me. They're gonna tax all the poor people even more. So no, it's still gonna remain illegal. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, well, I think this is all fine with Defox. Let's get driving. Hello, Midlife Crisis. Oh, already? Oh, 53. We're on 53 minutes. So if you all click the like button and then give me a shout if we hit 100 likes, I can then uh, hit the 100 likes per hour thing. Appreciate all those like clicks, guys. I'm going to. I've, I've decided to stop promoting the like button again because it is annoying me. I hate. I hate being a YouTuber, you know. <laughs> I I get YouTube writers. Okay. <laughs> we need more rear brake bars. We're just breaking in a straight line there. Oh, okay. We've done it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for getting us over 100, 100 likes per hour. Appreciate it. Okay, this, this car still feels a bit dislocated visually from the physics. That P1 car was spot on. See, this just... Like, you know, it handled. Like, you can feel what's going on. But... Do you know what I mean? Like, the, it seems dislocated. Maybe they've yet to polish this vehicle more. It, it, something just seems off with it. Yeah, it's not about warm or cold tyres. It's about... The car's just, it's just not moving properly. Look at the uh, lightings. I need to turn the god rays off because, you know, I don't need to be visited by Jesus in this car. But the, uh, yeah, they've, the visuals are m way better. The shadows don't look um, shimmery either. They've, they've improved that even more. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cold Tires. Uh, yeah, well, this car's a little bit like the, well, way, way smoother and less jittery than the uh, Project Cars 2 Formula Cars, but that aspect of the car seeming a bit, um, its visual movements, 
like it rotating in the center or I, I think it's more rotating in the center than rather than moving off its wheels seems apparent in this car but not apparent in that previous car that's that's what's weird who knows what it is this should still be fun to race though See, that's good, though. See, I, I was braking there, and the car shifted out as a unit. See that? It's not It's not just the back rotating. So if this was like a Project Cars 2 Formula car, for example, it, it <laughs> pivots on the center. R Factor 2 does that as well with some cars. It's not, it's not just a Project Cars 2 thing. It's uh, That's an issue with lots of sims. I think it's more that they've... I don't know, so, something just feels dislocated between that, the visuals of this car and how it's moving. Don't know what's causing that. RTX on. Hello, folding things. I'm, I'm alright, thanks, Chris. I actually... Uh, so last week, as I said earlier, I had mental, mental insomnia. Jesus Christ, like some of the worst insomnia I've ever had, actually. Um, like t two hours... <laughs> two hours sleep a night a, like randomly oh my god just that's why I didn't do any live streams last week and because uh, <laughs> I was just like Ugh. but last night I, I, I had eight, like eight hours sleep I was like I woke up and I was like oh my god that finally <laughs> finally <laughs> and if you guys in chat know if you have insomnia oh my god it's like the most annoying thing ever so annoying. But yeah, I won't go on about it. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Try ASMR. No, I... <laughs> I've got a plank of wood by my bed that I bang on my forehead. It does the trick. Yeah, no, I would do super. That's, that would probably work. Um, but it's not legal and I, I don't break the law really I'm not Dominic Cummings <laughs> I actually follow the I actually tend to follow the law you know apart from the uh, number of DD wheels that one is legally allowed to have in the UK <laughs> yeah woo yeah no I totally would Uh, it's not a Tory joke, it's a complete shit government joke. <laughs> Don't care if they're whatever. Ah, you can make a good argument that the current uh, Conservative government aren't actually very conservative uh, in, in what they do. Bloody mental. Edibles are good, yeah. Well, I, I, I personally, I wouldn't smoke. I don't like smoking. Ah, uh, yeah, the bit. Ah, uh, laced with cannabis. <laughs> That's why I slept well. Uh, do I prefer Fanatec DD to SimuCube? Um, I. What? I've only used this. Uh, do you mean like the? I've got an OSW. It's not a SimuCube. I've only used the SimuCube too briefly at SimRacing Expo. I think it's. I, the SimuCube might have slightly better force feedback, uh, like, but it's pretty marginal. Uh, I've not had enough time to really, like, really completely compare it. They're, they're in the same ballpark. My my thing with, you know, in terms of someone going, oh, do, we, do I buy a fan of tech or a SimuCube? It's like, if you want custom wheel rims, uh, get the SimuCube too. If you uh, like Fanatec wheel rims and pedals and stuff, get the Fanatec DD. It's, it's, you know, or, or whatever's in stock at the moment. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Hey, uh, John Sybil, I, I'm all right, thanks. I hope you are as well. John Sybil, 29. Uh, basically the same from my memory, Brummy Dino. I need to get one of those cube controllers for that OSW. So what happened with my original OSW was be before I got the Fanatec DD, um, or even the CSL Elite that I reviewed, I broke my, the USB cable for the button box, and then I was like, well, I just didn't get around to fixing it. 
Yeah, they're, they're very similar. To be honest, all, all DD wheels are very... Not if you're being super anal. <laughs> you know, not if you're, like, being ridiculously specific. But, like, on a percentage scale of difference from the difference between a Fanatec DD and the OSW, it would be within, like, a eight well, 5% range, 8% range, in, in terms of just the innate motor force feedback quality. Um, like, the difference between each sim's force feedback is, is like... 60% between the sim, you know. The software is a way bigger range in difference compared to the hardware differences. Uh, you know, where, whereas like a DD compared to a, to like a G25 is like a 99% difference or a DD compared to a, a, the Fanatec DD and the OSW compared to a CSL Elite is like uh, you know, like 90, 80, 90% difference, you know. Yeah, I, well, the Force wheel is a bit grainy if you use smaller wheel rims. And uh, you, you can mask that graininess by using larger wheel rims. And you can mask it a little bit by using uh, some, some smoothing settings. But it's still, it's still there. Like, you, you can't completely get rid of it. But uh, the Force wheel is a good value for money wheel, especially in America where you don't have to pay crazy postage or anything. Do I have pets? Uh, yes. <laughs> I have five pet fish. Cloudy minnows. minnows. And you know what? I was actually thinking about getting a larger fish tank. I, I, have, the, um, I have one of those uh, mini bi-orbs, the circular, don't, like, round fish tanks. Uh, and and uh, it's, it's shit. <laughs> it looks nice, but it's shit as a fish tank. Um, so, uh, I'd, I'd quite like to get a bigger fish tank. I'd really like a saltwater fish tank, and I'd like some uh, clownfish, which are like the easiest saltwater fish to look after. They, they also um, eat algae and stuff. Yeah, and I've always had, I've had fish all the time, actually. I like fish. So, yeah, I might get rid of that bio-orb fish tank and get a square one. Uh, yeah, uh, well, it's Mr. Box, so the difference between like a, like basically, they both work as steering wheels. They both give force feedback. You can drive perfectly fine with both of them. Like, you know, a CSL Elite lets you feel what's going on in the game fine and, and for the most part corrects, you know, rotation speeds quite fast. Um, what, um, a DD wheel's just like more punchy and immediate and uh, stronger, so it feels firmer. You, you know, it feels more like you've got a real car wheel that you're moving around. Uh, it like it feels like you're connected to real tyres, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, well, that is that. Yeah, the difference between a CSL Elite to a G29 is like 50-60% difference between those wheels. I mean, just in terms of strength, a G25 is like 2.5 newton meters, and a CSL Elite is like 7 newton meters. Ah, what? What fish have you got, T? I didn't know you had a fish tank. Yeah, yeah. DD wheel makes you feel like you're connected to a car, and that. But you can run the steering st stronger than that actual car steering would be which gives you somewhat of an illusion of like the g-forces that you'd be feeling in your hands and your entire body and that's not too bad given that uh dd uh two i think is eight kilograms uh dd D, well dd one and dd two have i tried the new vrs diet drive i haven't no i'd imagine it's very similar i'd imagine all of them are very similar to I've, I've used the Simucube 2, I've used the AccuForce 1 and AccuForce 2, I've used the Bodner wheel, I've used the Fanatec Podium, Fanatec DD2, and they're both they're the same motor in them, but different power. Um, they're all like, they're all, the, different, the, the biggest difference is in the driving simulators and how you set the wheels up, for the most part. Hello DJ DJ.
Uh, G27 TSPC. Yeah, no, that's a good upgrade. TSPC Racer is not that far off a, a CSL Elite. So <laughs> difference between a TSPC Racer and a CSL Elite is probably like 10% uh, in favour of the CSL Elite. TSPC Racer is a has a little bit less detail, a little bit weaker, and uh, a little bit more dampening than the CSL Elite. I, I uh, added TSPC Racer for a bit. I bought one myself. I haven't, Chris. I'm, I'll have to get my own livery sorted out, I think, if we're going to play this more. Six minutes left here. So I've got like three or four slots in the server. You've got your Simtech Racing DD for eight. Oh, that's good. Yeah, a lot of Sim stuff got pretty expensive due to stock shortages. Uh, maybe. I'll, d I'll do a video on which wheel to get. I mean, you know, William Marsh has a wheel buyer's guide. I think Random Call Sign's done some videos. But I I'll do one as well. I'll add to the pile because everyone keeps asking. And uh, I'll, I'll tell everyone to use my Fanatec affiliate link in it. <laughs> Hello. Please use my link. Goodbye. <laughs> the questions. <laughs> Sim racing questions. Which wheel should I buy? Which is the best budget wheel? What what force feedback settings? <laughs> uh, AMS two's um, less. Uh, it's not as tight or as decisive as R Factor two force feedback, but AMS two has a little bit better seat of the pants feel. Uh, R, R Factor two is more. I'd say R Factor 2's got more realistic force feedback. I mean, I've never driven a real race car, so... But it feels more realistic, even though I've not done the real thing. But how could he know? Oh, shoot. You can't say that if you've not done it. I can, and I did, using the power of reasoning. No. No, 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 no must, must you in Portugal? Uh, no, no is like pure Portuguese name that I don't hear anyone else being called. Like, you never see that name in the UK. It's an awesome name. Toilet Seat Drama. Hello, man. Do I agree with... I don't care what Jimmy says. He said he's a dirty shed boy. <laughs> I, he's welcome to his view. I, I think it's... Uh, I think it's enough different from Project Cars 2 that it's its own thing. It does have Project Cars 2 aspects to it. It's the same game engine and it's got the same tyre model. I'm sure Jimmy didn't mean anything negative by what he said, though. He, he, Jimmy's pretty uh, anodyne with... Uh, like he just likes playing different games, you know. He, he plays the Cody's F1. He plays everything. I just like, I like giving him some stick. I think I think people are too nice to Jimmy. I'm gonna I, I think we should all be horrible to him. <laughs> Balancing's out. That's the problem with nice people, guys. They they need to be uh, battered into submission and despair. They need to sit in front of the news for three days straight, and that'll sort them out. That'll make them miserable. <laughs> oh dear. It's just a game. Project Car A? Well, I don't mind it. If you've got fun racing, you've got fun racing. That P1 car is really nice. I'm not convinced about this this car, but it's good enough. I mean, compare this to bloody Formula 1. <laughs> F1 2019. But then again, F1 2019 has all that... Well, I don't think it's very good, but it does have a single-player structure to it. This better than most, well, factually better than most driving sims, so. No. J Jimmy said it. <laughs> Jimmy said it. He probably didn't even say anything. I've noticed this happen to me. Um, it must happen to Jimmy a lot more because obviously he's, uh, he's got a lot, lot bigger channel. Uh, probably happens to Super GT as well. Um, but I've noticed it with me. I, I say something, or I've not, I've said something Someone takes it out of context and misquotes what I've said, and then it comes back to me that someone's that, that I've said something that I haven't said, and I'm like, what? 
This seems to happen. Fortunately, it doesn't happen that much to me. But I imagine as you uh, produce more, or have more viewers, that uh, that happens more often. So that's why you can't be negative about anything. Because if you're positive about everything, people will only misconstrue positivity. So you don't, you know, it doesn't make you look bad. But if you, if, <laughs> if you say something that's slightly controversial or slightly negative, then it gets misconstrued. And before you know it, you're like a, you're like some kind of, <laughs> Sweeney Todd Demon Barber <laughs> you know puppy drowning monster although I do whoa bugger me ass! well he made no attempt to avoid me there I do occasionally drown puppies you know so they need to be sometimes the puppy populations get too high you can be negative about everything <laughs> Hello, Thomas. How you doing, Mitt? Thomas Schmidt? Thomas Schmidt. Does he think it's Schmidt or shit? This is my... Yes. I doubt the AI would torpedo me as effectively as whoever that was. Like, you don't need to loot Lidl. It's so cheap. You can just go in there and buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Lidl's amazing. Maybe it's because I was like a peasant for so long, <laughs> like not like really no money at all, that uh, that's maybe that's where my love of Lidl's come from because it was the only shop I could go into and actually buy like a week's worth of food. I <laughs> know oh, actually that's a lie. As the reduced price stuff was actually really good as well. But you can spend thirty quid in Lidl. You can fill a trolley and it'll be like thirty-five quid. Can't do that in uh, like Tesco's. Can't do that in Waitrose. Waitrose, you feel like a a miniature. <laughs> you fill a thimble with shopping in Waitrose, and you that's it. You need to you you broke. Ah oh, dear, ah oh, dear. Whoa. Well, that was not an op optimal race line. Thirty-six. <laughs> yeah, can buy all that. They have to restock it. Look at those trees. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the pits and hopefully that that bug doesn't happen. It might have fixed it, you know. Uh, not with well, this car feels a bit funky to me, to be honest. Uh, the previous one was really good though. Oh, qualifying over! Come on. <laughs> this is this is ah there we go it worked. It's how you add tension to driving sims. It's like real life racing. You don't know if you've got enough money to actually take part in the in the actual race. Ah, uh, why is ah uh, no? I, I spoke too soon, guys. Continue button's not working. <laughs> the R Factor Two Classic bug here. And is this from whoever's in P1 lag? Like, oh no, you just have to wait. Right. Fine. <laughs> that's that's a that was a Project Cars 2 moment. Don't mind that. That's how you that's where you get the Project Cars 2 heritage from. Buttons that don't work when it's the next session. No mods, and I don't think there will be, but there's like two years of DLC planned. Uh, that's why that uh DLC pack's so expensive. What's California looting? Oh dear. It's almost as if you run a country with huge wealth inequality that uh, when given an opportunity, the people that have been neglected and have had no opportunity to even be able to earn money legally kind of don't feel attached to the society that they've grown up in and kind of don't feel like following the laws when given a chance not to. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> What? <laughs> Captain Obvious. Some people would say what I've just said there is controversial. Those people are stupid. Right, let's let's get driving, guys. We've got a race. There we go. We've got a race about to begin here. Make Warrior 5 in Days Gone are also the same engine. 
Uh, yeah, it shows how let loose. I, which I was playing earlier, and it's they've optimized it a lot. And oh man, I was playing how let loose at like four o'clock this morning. So good. I I did. I only played like one life. I had a I had like a fifteen minute, twenty minute life. It was incredible. I like the. Um, if you're not playing how let loose, it's a World War Two sort of simulator ish. Um, huge battlefield. Like you just got to buy it. It's amazing. But I, like, snuck all the way around the enemy lines, and then I was picking off all these uh, enemies. And I had, like, I had to crawl past a tank that was on a hillside <laughs> so he didn't see me. Oh, it was, it was incredible. I should have recorded it. It was, like, amazing. I felt like I was in a Band of Brothers episode for 25 minutes straight. So good. I, I, I'll live stream it some more. They, they've really improved it. Hell Let Loose is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. So, bloody... Oh, okay. Got away with that. Sorry. <laughs> I was too busy talking about Hell Let Loose. Oh. Shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rolling onto the track. Can we get a ban on this game of muscle? He's just taking everyone out. Right. Let's not... Let's talk about Hell Let Loose. More concentrating on the driving here. Whoa, dear God. Cold tyres make for a slippy drive that's my excuse um what was i saying yeah hell let loose really good <laughs> it wasn't a good start it's all right everyone else crashed as well i just, I, don't, I, I don't feel bad for me crashing it was the guy i punted but he actually drove away but i think that didn't help the cars behind us oh my <laughs> oh my is that uh who's the guy from star trek <laughs> Sulu. Oh my. I haven't, but um, Race Sim Central. So, um, I, uh, Random Call Sign plays it, or did play it a fair bit. And it, it does sound like the kind of thing I'd enjoy, but I, I don't want to get into any more games. <laughs> I, I've got VR games that I need to play and make video. Oh god! I, that was his fault there. I was too. He, he pulled out and then I couldn't do anything. Well, I managed to avoid him, but that was not optimal. Rejoining the track here. Okay. George Takai. There you go. Um, Takai, Takai. The original Simstick. Hello. Yeah, so no, I... I Maybe I'll give Escape from Tarkov a go, but I mean, I've, I've tried get. I've got back into CS:GO a bit, so that's like if I play a game of that, that's like an hour and a half, and then Hell Let Loose. If I play that, that's an hour. <laughs> well, yeah, they've tried to make the gravel traps a bit more authentically gravel trappy in this compared to other Sims. Bloody. So, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it, it slows you down more like a gravel trap. Whereas in most sims, the gravel traps are just the same as the grass, really. Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced on the handling of this car. But that the P1 was definitely uh, really nice. Maybe we'll try like a road car next. Yeah, <laughs> so it seems dislocated uh, finding an account to me from the from what's actually happening. It just seems a bit weird. Like the grass in AC. Oh yeah, but the grass with the content manager and shader patch is bloody sexy in AC. Proper individual blades. Uh, Lone Echo's all right. Uh, I'm on about the, when, when I say I don't like it. It's the single player. It's immersive. It's a very immersive. I like the move, the player movement and stuff's fantastic, uh, and the voice acting and the character stuff's really well done. So and the graphics are great, but the gameplay in it's complete shit. <laughs> the the puzzle design is terrible, uh, and the pacing of the puzzle and the gameplay is terrible. So that's my problem with it. They're doing a second one, so maybe that'll be better. 
Um, I haven't, John Banks, but this might work all right with a gamepad. Uh, Project Cars 2 worked all right with a gamepad, and I imagine this has similar controls for gamepad. Lone Echo is a VR space game where you like a robot. Yeah, well, I, I didn't get through the story because I there's a, about an hour or two hours into the game you have to go outside the spaceship to those solar array things and I was just like, oh, this is just... I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> maybe maybe play it with the Index. I was playing it on the original Oculus Rift, I think. So, and I, I never really found the original Oculus Rift particularly immersive. Uh, especially compared to, like, the Index. So... We'll see. There's a, the second one will be better. Also, Echo Arena is good fun. But it's full of bloody teenagers shouting. Is, and you can't mute them, but it's a pain in the arse to mute them. Uh, yeah, Alex seems to be quite popular for modding. As I said, I'm going to hopefully uh, cover mods. I found... I enjoyed Half-Life Alex. I think it's a good game. I think it's well worth playing. Um, you know, but uh, I did... I, I think it was a bit underwhelming in the sense... Well, it was fine. It was what it's supposed to be. It felt it felt like Half-Life 2 in VR. So, but I, I feel like it could have been so much better with some, like, a few more battles, a few, uh, one or two more types of enemy, you know. It, to me, that would have made it way better than, than what it was. Like, uh, some bigger, some more open environment bits with more enemies, you know. I it, Obviously, they focused on the sort of horror aspect. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but I, I feel like it needed, like, another eight months of development. But still, still, many aspects of it are very good. I mean, in some ways, it ruins other VR games because it. The key thing with Half-Life Alex is that it does the fundamentals. There'll be. I'll do another. I'll do a video on that. <laughs> That's another video. No, I've got to not talk about videos in live streams. Focus on the uh, the game at hand. <laughs> Guys, eighth place in front. My name yes. Yeah, no spoilers for people that haven't played it. Who doesn't want to run in the cornfields? <sighs> I need another cup of tea. Why is people drafting me so effectively? This sim has way more draft than other sims, you know. What music do I listen to? Uh, everything, really. Uh, I, I really like Hard Dance, Hard House, Trance, Techno, uh, Soft House. <laughs> uh... Classical music, uh, everything really. I mean, I don't like gangster rap, <laughs> particularly, but I don't mind a bit of grime. Uh, oh, oh no, ru like Russian Russian rap is good. Uh, I, I don't know, like it's all good. Medium house, a bit of <laughs> garage, jungle outside the garage, tooth and throat singing, you know. Lidl Corporate Radio. <laughs> Have you heard the new Lidl announcements? In these difficult times... <laughs> if I hear in these difficult times <laughs> anymore... <laughs> in these trying times, whilst we approach the new normal... <laughs> bloody stop it with these stupid words! <laughs> it's just... Folk music. 
I mean, I, I, India, oh, I like a bit of uh, Vinu Malesh. <laughs> bit of Bollywood dancing. By the way, guys, a, a, Mr. Mr. Abgafarin in the chat, click on his username, check out his channel, learn German. Oh, I, I used to listen to, like, I, I like, uh, like 80s metal. I really like Queen and uh, Metallica. Uh... I mean, obviously, Queen and Metallica are very different types of music. I mean, Queen's not Queen's not really metal, is it? <laughs> I, I guess it's metal, but not heavy metal. Uh, I mean, I was, no, Queen's rock, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. I mean, I like synth wave, and I I, I really like chip tune music. Like, as I say, I like everything really. As long as it's a good quality version of whatever genre it is. <laughs> Carriage, driveway, petrol station, tarmac pavement. Local district curbing. That's right, I listen, you know, all of it. I like it all. So nice, uh, visually it looks a lot better. Uh, the P1 car seems to be improved handling. and uh, uh, drives awesome. I, I've not got into uh, Beach Pebble music, though. It's far too rocky. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, Abkafar has got... Uh, he can post his link, I think. He's a channel mod. <coughs> <coughs> Tea bags, why are you messaging me? I can't read. I, oh, Jesus. Sent me a picture of a fish tank. I can't do that whilst I'm driving. But dum dum tish. I need the boo sound effect for that. I, I can't even read that. My phone's not even flashing up. You should listen to Alter Bridge. Well, I, I used to listen to a lot of thrash mu uh, music for a while. I find it gives me uh, it gives me a headache now in, my, in old age. A lot of thrash is absolute garbage though as well. It's one of those genres where a lot of people are like, oh, if you use the kick drum and bang the drums a lot, it's thrash. Ten, ten out of ten, we are now a thrash band. I mean, say, I, you know, trance and dance is arguably worse <laughs> for that. Spy Baz, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate that. Cars by Gary Newman. Here in my car. Feel safe in my car. In cars. <laughs> Thrash metal muscle. What? There it is. Ninth. Not the result I want. Ah, ah. <laughs> Not the result I wanted, but it's the one we got. Very secret. Pwned it. Gork Ben in second. Soydin in third. Dr. Longmount in fourth. Robot in fifth. Surfing CT sixth. Nice driving, guys. Uh, yeah, this car seems a bit... I mean, it's kind of consistent within itself, but it, it just f feels a bit wonky-donk to me. Well, maybe maybe it's one that they need to do more on. Who knows? Will this play okay on a GTX 1660 Ti at 1080? I don't know. I'm I'm not familiar with the 1660. Uh, I don't know what what that how that uh, card relates to the other cards. Uh, I'm a bit out of touch with the uh, um, with the Nvidia cards. <laughs> well, I know the 10. I know they're like 1060, 1070, 1080, the 20. You know, the, you know. I know them. But I'm not familiar with the. I'm not familiar with those budget cards. <laughs> well, your, your, those peasant cards for those of you that 
don't want to waste money on a computer. <laughs> oh, okay, if it's, yeah, it'll run this in 1080p fine, yeah. If, if it's the same as a 1070, you, you'll get um, a 1080p on, like, medium graphics settings, yeah. Basically, this runs about, about the same as Project Cars 2, to be honest. Yeah, it's a very similar performance to Project Cars 2. Arguably less demanding in some ways due to the trees not being 3D. Um, uh, it depends on the, the car models in this. Uh... Actually, some of the car models in this are less detailed, uh, polygon count-wise, than Project Cars 2. So that should run better as well. But it's probably about the same. Yeah, there you go. People in chat know what I'm talking about. I, d I don't know what I'm doing. I just make it up. You, you guys tune in. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> right, well done, guys. Well done, guys. Thomas got a beautiful seventh there. Let's do another car. Let's do a road car. Hello, Mar Marcos. Uh, someone said, what do I think about... Uh, who asked that question about red line? Red line motorsport. Someone asked a question. Yeah, I only do flagship. Look, it's for work, all right? I wouldn't... I... I... I wouldn't um I, I wouldn't have a tw <laughs> I wouldn't have a 2080 Ti if it wasn't like if I didn't have this like ludicrous job uh there's no way I, like you'd be an idiot to buy one um and I wouldn't have a 2060 <laughs> in in the streaming PC if it wasn't f f to make it look nice for you guys that's why that's happened and the 1080 in the VR PC that I was given that by MSI, so that's fine. <laughs> I didn't buy that. It's okay. Man, I, I tell you what, I would I would go back to the Voodoo two two days. <laughs> so is that? No, it it was a thousand pounds. Jeez, it was a thousand pounds. But I'm on the I'm on this every day for like hours. So it's like it makes sense. Like if you're if you're spending like nine hours a day on your computer and let's say I'm going to replace that card after two years unless I get unless I get a review unit it's worth it isn't it like that's what I'm justifying to myself but I wouldn't buy one other like unless you were a YouTuber it's just it's it's a waste of money how tall am I <laughs> would you want to you're trying to measure me up for a for, for a, a grave or something I'm I'm six foot two. Last time I measured, I might have shrunk or I might have grown. I don't know. Uh, oh, someone asked about Redline, Team Redline. Uh, I think they just it caught up with them that the fact that their name is far too similar to Redline Racing, so there's like it's super ambiguous uh, as a brand. And I imagine Team Team Redline were like. Hang on a minute. <laughs> we're, we're doing loads of stuff with Pro Race Drivers. We uh, can't be doing this. So, I imagine that's what happened. They've uh, rebranded there with Sim Racing International, which is actually a better brand, so they should have done that originally. Uh, let's try these road car things here. They're probably going to be terrible because they're new, but we'll give it a bash. Well, if it's crap, we'll start a new server, actually. So, oh, maybe we could drive this. Right, let's see. Let's see what these are like. I'll, I've got a multi-class set. We'll go for this one. I really want. It's not none of them are rear-wheel drive, unfortunately. Uh, American or English? V A. I don't know what's going on in chat. Half Life One. What's this chili dog? You have a, I have a 1060, Ernest. Yeah, if you play, if you, it depends what resolutions you're playing. If you're doing 2D and what have you, and you can. The 10 series graphics cards are great. This one's rear wheel drive. Yeah, let's do this one. This was this would be fun to try. Forget the new ones. We need a nippy track here. Yeah. What's Velo Park? It looks like a... Uh... 
Oh, this could be fun. There we go. It's a good combo. Oh, race him. What's my thoughts on the... Oh, I missed that. What's my thought on the reason something or other? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what your question was. Sorry. Ah, oh, nice one, Ernest. Okay. I, I, thanks, Doctor. I won't do that one then. Yeah, let's do this. Are there any slots? We've got uh, five or six slots if you want to join in. Password is T in capital letters. Uh, I get you, uh, Confried. Oh, development update. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, visually looks a lot better. They've improved the lighting settings and what have you um the the p the first p1 car drives absolutely fantastic uh yeah it's just nice it just keeps polishing they just keep improving it basically how hungry am i <laughs> zero to north korea four rice grains um i'm uh i'm not very hungry actually Oh. Why is AI driving that? Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with the... Uh, I don't know why it's so dark in quality. I need to turn the... Uh... Oh, everyone's... Okay, come on. <laughs> Come on, there's a problem there, guys. It should, that should not happen. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> right, here goes another one. And there goes another one. There goes another one. There goes another one. Oh, any more, any more. Oh, there goes another one. And it's gone. <laughs> well, they've nailed this car for sure. Any more? Any more takers? Whoop. Whoop, whoop, there goes another one. No! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Great! Well, they've nailed the grip levels with this car. It drives just as you would expect it to. No problems there. Ah! This car does have road tyres on it, I think. It's still, it's weird that it's so slippy. This car's really quiet as well. But why is, why is it getting stuck in like massive rear end slides? Oh yeah, this car has like a weirdo diff on the rear, doesn't it? Still. This isn't the hot car. No, well, I don't know what this is. This car's bollocks. <laughs> this car's got a shopping trolley on the back end. Right, I might have to make a new... S it just gets stuck. The rear just gets stuck in slides. Maybe you have to keep giving it a bit of welly. Uh, this is not a, This is not going to be good. Right, I'm going to remake the server, guys. It's not, it's not going to be fun to race, so forget that. Forget that car. Right, new server coming up, guys. <laughs> I need to turn the god rays off as well. Yeah, let's, let's give a stock car a try. Uh, visuals and FX. Bloom. Uh, is it the... Hang on a minute. Bloom needs to be on. There we go. Uh, nope, wrong button. Ovals, <laughs> Thomas. Are you in the server, Thomas? Hello, Random Mikulsein. How's it going? Server's called Gamer. Okay, that's dyslexic there. Password is T. 
I can. This is a good opportunity to change the. Uh, Which was his stop car? That's the, the mini. That's actually quite fun. That car. Ah, uh, I'm all right. Opals. Which one's that? This. <laughs> this is going to be a beast. Do you, you, this is a good car. Or what about the modern one? The problem with this is the seating position is bloody bonkers. Should I go with this one? Do I use this one or the old one? Old one, okay. This is going to be a nightmare around this track. Well, we'll give it a go. Capital letters, by the way, for the password. Okay. Kerturbia. Right, let's try this. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Yeah, well, they do that, don't they? They put the driver right in the middle and as low as possible. It's like this, you know, it's low to get the center of gravity right. They might, it's, like, it's like driving with a... It's like driving a remote control car with a steering wheel. <laughs> you can cheat by moving the camera forwards. The thing is, it's all right. It's not too bad in VR. It's just a problem on 2D screens because you're like, you can't see out the window. Let's see how this, let's see if this is a beast. Oh, did I leave the God Rays on? No, I, uh, I might have left lens flare on. Like, the Cascapula Rays, the God the God Flares, are okay. It's the lens flare off this sun. I've broken it. No. Nope. It seems to be like... It seems to be getting later each time we load to the track. Oh, well. It's like a, a bug with the uh, time of day. I don't have a headlight button bound. Oh, well. Headlights are on automatically. See, see. Mirror. Ah, oh, yeah, this is nice and uh, progressive. My steering rotation values are off. I'm an idiot. Yes, it's true. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Well, this this feels this seems good. AMS three. To me, are you making a Project Cars 3 joke? Now oh, this this car seems really nice. There you go. This this makes sense. <laughs> My it drives like a car. Fancy that? That's that's handy. It's always a lot easier to play a simulator when the car drives like an actual car. <laughs> oh, the chat's gone mild. It's not even 7 p.m. Isn't this the car from Driver?
It's, you know, it's really weird with live stream chat. How? Oh, well, we still got the bloody lens flare. <laughs> the, the one we need to turn that off. It's, yeah, it's weird with live stream chat. How it'll be like super hyperactive, and then all of a sudden it will go like really quiet. It's it's really weird. Hello. The ebbs and flows. It's like surfing. You'll be like sat and there's no like big waves and then all of a sudden a set of three babes come along and you're like, oh, don't miss them because it'll be another half hour till the next one's come along. Hello, Julian Sheen, the racing machine. How's it going, man? This is my DTM, 90s DTM teacher. <laughs> oh, not controversial. Uh... I don't know. Today would be non-controversial. The road textures look way better uh, since this lighting update. Maybe they've improved the road textures as well. Ah, uh, what is Dave Cam or Sh is it Sean Cole or Dave Cam? You, you've got to watch out. The Boldies are taking over sim racing. We were born to sim race. <laughs> Boldy. If you have three Boldies uh, live streaming at the same time, uh, the light links up off our foreheads and we become one ultimate Boldy machine. Like Power Rangers. Go, go, Boldy Rangers. You mighty morphing bold sim racers. That's how that happens. Uh, how do I rate the engine sounds? Uh, six tea bags out of ten. A A A ACC has uh, by far the best engine sounds. Hello, Static Media. We're all right, thanks. Yeah, this this car's great. This is fine. We've got two cars now. <laughs> you say that, Collie. We just drove the F3 car and it was uh, not very good. I don't know about the other ones, it, but like if you compare them to the AC cars, AC Formula cars, they, they really don't have anything on them. Oh, we can give, we'll give that a go. Maybe, maybe those are improved. Oh dear. Mm. Uh, well, compared to iRacing, Ermin the whole man. Thank you for subscribing. Compared to iRacing, this this has um, you can drive over the limit. <laughs> you know, which is a uh, you can do that in some of the cars in iRacing, but it's it, iRacing is just weird with the tire temperatures when you uh, go over the limit. Uh, so, you know, there's that. But um, iRacing has the under the limit is nice and snappy. And obviously iRacing's got the whole online system, which this doesn't have. So, you know. Also, iRacing sound is, is uh, really immersive, I find, in a lot of ways. Um, compared to R Factor 2, R, R Factor 2 is a sort of different... It's, it's hard to really compare. R Factor 2 is a bit more punchy. Um, but I've not driven cars like this in R Factor 2. Um, yeah, it's hard to describe uh, R Factor 2 relative to other sims because it has a very distinct sort of uh, force feedback feel to it. This is definitely closer to R Factor 2 than, I, than it is I racing. <gasps> Password is T in capital letters. Just concentrating here, guys. <laughs> yeah, the the only thing with R Factor 2 force feedback is it doesn't really have much seat of the pants feel to it. 
like you very much are driving it's like a, it's like the steering you're basically feeling the steering rack but it's very detailed so i think if, if r factor 2 just had a little bit more of that seat of the pants feel it'd be um it'd be a lot better I, but yeah i, I find r factor 2's force feedback really really immersive in terms of you feel like you you are the you're feeling the tires probably better than any other sim hello rob davies uh, 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 uh. i'm not gonna make that Uh, oh, geez, what did you say? Been, sorry for missing chat messages here, guys. Struggling to keep up. <laughs> sorry, I'm too slow. Oh, my brain's not very good. I'm a bit slow today, guys. Sorry. Formula Reza with Kerr's update. Okay. I don't like Kerr, so... <laughs> but yeah, we, maybe we'll try that out. Probably another time. Will there be another reason pack an r to Well, probably not. No, I wouldn't have thought so. They're, they're working on this. Chris Bow! Get, you've got the wrong account, you noob. Do you reckon there'll be another reason? I've just read that twice. <laughs> uh, hello! <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, on today's episode of a dyslexic man in a sim rig, <laughs> we bombard a dyslexic man with chat messages. His brain melts. Oh, we need, yeah, we might do the cake room next. We'll see. Say something about AC. Oh, AC's, AC's the holy grail of sim racing. AC's on another le level, guys. I don't need to say anything about AC. Everyone knows it's the best. <laughs> that'll, be the ne that'll be the next AC video. Why Assetto Corsa is the best simulator? Why, why aren't other sims as good as Assetto Corsa? <laughs> You shit, do, 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 do you reckon they'll be... Well, you read the... Oh, <laughs> I was probably having a mental breakdown there. It's like, what? <laughs> That's what it's like in my head. Oh, thanks, Chris Bow. He's on the correct account now. Guys, follow uh, Chris Bow on Instagram. This is my chance to, to look like I'm being generous to Chris Bow, but I'm actually advertising my Instagram. <laughs> Where is he? Where is Chris Bow gone on my button box? There we go. Chris Bow. <laughs> Follow Chris Bow. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram. And whilst you're doing it, follow me. Chris Bow has the nurses. I have the steering wheels. Top five things AC does wrong. I tell you what, if you're a YouTuber, guys, if you've got a, if you've got a sim racing YouTube channel... Just do a video on uh, top five AC track mods. That's like that's like thirty thousand views over a year. Just just talk slowly with the microphone really close. Do this, and uh... in this video, I'm going to be telling you the top five Assetto Corsa mod tracks. In at number one, we have Virginia. International race. Hang on, no, we've got to start with five. Number f uh, And whilst you're doing this, you've got to show external shots of the track with, with the pre recorded replay and uh, cut it in with like close up shots and have some music in the background, but occasionally dull the music out and just have the engine rip off Top Gear. That's that's 50 that's 50k 50k views, guys. Sim, how to sim race, sim racing videos. Also, you need a British accent. <laughs> and uh, what else do you need to do? Be be pretentious. I don't know. It's a good way. Of, it's just what people want. Over nine thousand views. <laughs> top five. Top five. Top five. A set of course. Top five. Top five. A set of course. video topics. Hello, Andre Anders. No, don't use a VPN when sim racing unless you want to suffer the wrath of cars warping into you. Random call sign's not British. I like Random's videos. He do, he's the only one to do proper like Japanese tracks and stuff. I need to try some of them out, actually. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you could do that race in Central. Write it out and put it on a wall. And then act as if the driving simulator is actually real life. <laughs> that helps as well. So that those people that are role-playing, that they're actually driving real cars, can feel as if it's like, Oh, 
Oh, it's the real thing! <laughs> That's the person for pro tip. I like Race Room Connor. Take that back. But yeah, most, most of our subscribers hate Race Room, so you're in good company. Look, we can all disagree on, on most things, but we can all agree that uh, Pocono Raceway is the worst track in the world. Track main. Oh, there's a new Track Mania coming out. A uh, new Track Mania Stadium. That's actually going to be quite... Is it out yet? I will be playing that for sure. Chris Bow. Uh, yeah. It's actually quite... They've actually polished it up quite a bit. It's going to crash now just to prove me wrong. And it'll be your fault. Did anyone follow me on Instagram? We're just, we're just waiting to go to the next session here. Let me see here. Ah, uh, oh, bugging me. I've just given money to Sony by accident. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, Tim Musley sending me pictures of biscuits. Ah, oh, these look well nice. Dark chocolate rounds from Marks and Spencers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't send me pictures of biscuits. Now, now I want more biscuits. What was I doing? Oh, Instagram. Here we go. Got one minute till the race starts. I'm not being rude and looking at my phone, guys. I, I Don't you hate it when uh, streamers look at their phone? It, they're like ignoring the stream. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is I'm going to shout out you guys that have followed us on Instagram. Connor Clifford. Thank you very much. Yeah, pro tip, if you stream, don't don't look at your phone while streaming because it looks really bad even if you're doing even if you're legitimately checking your phone for good reasons, it looks terrible. It look it looks like when you're like with friends or something and you're looking at your phone instead of talking to each other. That's what it looks like. So rude. Said <laughs> pizza biscuits. That's what <laughs> that's what I go for. Told you I'm I'm uh, marrying uh, Tim Muesley now. She she sent me biscuits, that's it. Totally, uh, uh, that's it. Once you've got biscuits, I'm not hyped. When you're at a, when you're at a date and the girl doesn't stop looking at her phone, yeah, I just take the phone off her and smash it. <laughs> I, I've never been on a date like that, to, to be honest. Um, if someone was like that, I, I, I wouldn't like date them. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, unless you're like, you know, you're already with someone and you're both, you're just waiting and you just feel like checking that's fine but if you're on like a date with a new person uh if they're on their phone ah uh, they sod that <laughs> like why you know do you know what i mean it's like you're with someone's you're with someone you might as well get to know i i just i just say to him look <laughs> no, i'm not interested unless they were re unless they had a dd will in which case well, i just accept it I'll be honest. If they turned up to the date with a with any DD will, with a, you know, that's that's I wouldn't even ask any questions. I just I just get the wedding ring out. Uh, you've never you've never been on. Ah, oh, no, that's true. <laughs> Erwin Lommer on his first date, he never even stood up for for from his sim rig. I would do a sim rig date. That'd be good fun. Could uh, challenge each other to laps around the Nordschleife. Turned up with TT legs, rotating into the into the room. Sorted. Right. Josh, the boss, is a laser beam in this. Mix L32, Day Steven, Robot, Thomas, myself and Steve. Top seven. Uh, no, I'm not. Fortunately, I'm not uh, like famous or anything. <laughs> I, I the only time no someone said they recognised someone messaged me after they'd seen me out, but they didn't come up to me. Uh, if I, if I'm like a sim racing expo, people obviously recognise me, and then uh, if I'm at a race track, I've had people come up to me. You know, it's obviously that context, but not in not in normal day to day life. Uh, fortunately. <laughs> I, you, you really wouldn't want to be like recognizable 
uh, unless you're like making a lot of money. It'd just be really annoying. Yeah, also, I don't go out. <laughs> that helps. Oh, we need enough fuel here. It's, uh, it's only a seven lap race. Ah, we're good. That's all fine. What is your favorite moisturizing cream? These are the, the questions that people are asking today. Uh, Nivea Visage for men's pretty good. Um, Suda cream's really good. Not as a moisturizing cream, but as an antiseptic cream. Al always have some of that. That's that's very handy. Um, I actually bought some tea tree cream recently, which is good if you've got a spot and you want to get rid of it quickly. Uh, what are they? Oh, I, I've got a beard. I think it's from ne uh, Next. It was a Christmas present. Some beard moisturizing cream that's really good. Like I, I, I post same balm stuff. Yeah. I think it's like seven laps. Uh, mostly just polish, Javard. I, I, I use head and shoulders and... Uh, yeah, head and shoulders. I think Jimmy would get recognised a lot because he's because he's done a lot of Formula One game stuff. Um, oh, we're cycling back. We're going back. We're there, uh, and you know, obviously, that's a lot more popular. He's obviously got way bigger. Um, I know St uh, Stephen gets recognised. <laughs> well, I was at something uh, with Stephen, and the guy was like, "Oh, hello! I know you're. I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel." I was like, "All right, Stephen." What? <laughs> Nice launch, nice data. <laughs> what a move! <laughs> Automobilista 2, the first driving sim to incorporate wrestling. <laughs> what a pass. <laughs> the first... The first uh, manned car. <laughs> That's uh, good. That might be, they might need to adjust that. Uh, but yeah, so no, I was, I was with Stephen and uh guy was like, ah, I'm a big fan of your channel. So, yeah. I'd imagine, I'd imagine if you pass like, uh, I reckon if you pass like 500,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, then you're probably, you're probably, if you were like walking around London or something, it's, a reasonable likelihood that someone would know you. Do you know what I mean? I think that's the threshold point. Uh, that's. I don't think that's a netcode issue. I think that's to do with uh, just how the cards react to contact. That's like a separate thing again. I mean, Project Cars 2, uh, Project Cars 2 never used to do that, so I don't know. It might, might be like a weird prediction issue. Who knows? You suck. Thank you, uh, Kid Fortnite. Go faster. <laughs> four tight for F4. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> that's a. I bet that's how you talk to everyone that you that you meet for the first time. You suck. Ah, oh, Justin Boss and Mixel 38. Up to fourth. Come on. Uh, four swing backs all right in this actually. Yeah, I know it's at uh, CB. I don't know why why it's doing that with the names. It's broken. It should it should be different colours for different people. It's just killed itself. I did notice, and I was like, "Well, that's annoying." At least you can read the text. Like it's all it's actually totally messed up. It's the wrong font as well. It's totally. Nah, I don't know what's happened. Whoa, sorry, that was my fault there. I was out of control. Oh, he's still next to us. <laughs> oh, side by side. His wheels are smoking. <laughs> it's quite a good car, this. 
Like ridiculous. This is like pure juice of hazard. It's be good fun to drive in VR. Tortellini Pasta Armor. Mix out 38. Rinsed me. I mean, uh, rinsed like a plate in a dishwasher. <laughs> He's doing like drift entries into that. Man, this car understeers off the throttle quite a bit. Look here, Torts, I'm not giving you a personal review because you're, you're complaining unless it's ACC. You dirty fanboy. <laughs> ah, ACC! Oh, look who's in chat, guys! Guys. Hang on, let's not crash. Let's do this without crashing. BSimracing.com All your sim racing news in one place. Don't just sim race, be simracing.com. There you go. All your sim racing news in one place at a basic level, objectively, factually, with a nice dosage of front end feel. How's it going, Wim? Trying to, trying to work this car through the track nice and easy. It's not quite going nice and easy, but we're trying. Hello, Pommy Turk. Reverb. Oh, the new Reverb 2 headset looks nice. It'd be sure good if HP sold it in the UK so I could review it, but they don't, so I can't. And they're not replying to emails, so... <laughs> Talking about reverb. Ah oh dear. You're almost crip almost crippled, but not quite. Like uh basically you're like Arnold Schwarzenegger three three quarters of a way through a film. Yeah, you're almost crippled, but not quite. You see despite being shot five times and being blown up a couple of times, you, you're still going and you can still fight on. That's basically where you're at. Who's the other guy? Who's the other action hero guy with the weird face and the lisp thing? What's he called? Rambo. Who's Rambo? Uh, what is the refresh of the reverb? Stallone there, there you go. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Nice one there, uh, kid Fortnite. Appreciate that. <laughs> Does Fortnite give people brain damage? There definitely seems to be a correlation. Oh, we're in third place, apparently. Double yellow flag all with uh, more spinners. Uh, okay. Well, maybe it'd be all right. 75 hertz. I don't know. What, what's the quest run at? That, or the Rift S, is that 70 hertz? I, I mean, you do notice. So uh, I've been messing around a lot with the Valve Index recently, this last week. You definitely notice a huge quality in like um, smoothness going to 100 hertz was it 120 hertz i can't remember you it, you've got like five options 80 90 120 and 144 and uh or is it just 100 i can't remember but you don't need to be on 144 but you definitely notice the difference between uh, the, the 100 hertz or 120 hertz compared to the, the 90. Like, 
when you're moving your hands and stuff or things are happening in the game, it, you know, you definitely notice it's a lot smoother. <laughs> stuff like what for driving sims might, might be all right, though, to be honest. It's only we like when you're playing table tennis. And, and but for most games, it's probably okay. It's just a little bit, probably going to be a little bit harder to be fully immersed. Our quest is 72, okay. Well, the uh, sort of scientific sweet spot for VR headsets, I think, is 120. That seems to be the point where the vast majority of people can't, like, through, through testing and studies, people can't notice any difference through, through like, blind trials and stuff. That's true. Your eyes can end. Well, cinematic twelve with 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 motion blur is where it's at. A little bit loose through there, guys. We're holding on to third place here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you notice difference between a hundred, ninety, and a hundred. I said there's like a point where it passes. Especially if you're playing at like play eleven table tennis. And you really, you can really see it on the the rackets and the ball, like anything that's moving quickly. You can see the individual frames until you get to like 120 hertz or something. Uh, kid Fortnite, I will uh, just kick you from the channel. So someone can just uh, mute him. Give give him a give this guy a. Give this guy a time out for being a knob. <laughs> Hello, Mini Ninja. Thank you, Chili Dog. Top notch. These days, I only use it for Half Life. Yeah, I, have you you completed it? Um, contractors just had a big update. But yeah, Half-Life Alex, the mods for Half-Life Alex, uh, 11 Table Tennis, uh, Pavlov, I've, I've found it hard to find servers in that. Uh, Onwards is really good fun. I, I still enjoy playing that. You missed it, Volsari. We've had one DD girl today already. This, you know there's a mod for Half-Life Alex so you can play it in 2D. It's like... Kind of ruins the point. I mean, you know, I guess if you want the story. Oh, every, there's another golf game as well that just came out yesterday on the on the Quest and uh, Rift. Oh, thank you, Raven Eyes. <laughs> Not sure what kind of inspiration. An inspiration of despair. <laughs> but cheers. Uh, it is VR only, but you can mod it to be 2D, but you, you you don't want to play in 2D. Like, the game's designed around VR. Most of Half-Life Alex is based around looking through cupboards. Really, it's about cupboard opening simulation, to be honest. that That is what you spend most of the game doing. It's kind of marketed as like a Half-Life shooter game, but really it's a cupboard simulator. The most advanced cupboard simulator known to man. I'm playing the piano, yes. And shaking bottles with water in them. Kid Fortnite, if you, you, you've got to behave yourself. And he's gone. <laughs> you've got to be chill. And you've got to... Basically, the only rule for this channel is to not be a knobhead. That's it. Simples. Joss, Mix, myself, D, Stephen, Thomas, Y, Zirin, Sadin. Top seven there. Nice driving, guys. Not a bad car. Not... Whoa! <laughs> but uh, still not as good. That P1 is the, only, the best car so far by quite a margin. Don't be a penis. <laughs> uh, what is it? I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I don't blame you. It's because you can see your reflection in the forehead. 
if I said I don't like, no, that's all right. I can accept people having different choice in in drinks. You know, not everyone not everyone's enlightened when it comes to quenching one's thirst. Uh, so you know, it's just a reality of the world. Uh, we can make a new lobby. Yeah, I'll make a new lobby. Cupboard opening room and so on. <laughs> I cupboard cupboard opening. Ah, oh, bloody it. There it is. Thank you. People can't help themselves, can they? E every sim is wreckfest if you try hard enough. <laughs> what, is, what is it? It's like some weird drift display. Right, let's make a new one. Hello, Joss. Currently alternating coffee and beer. <laughs> Why don't you just put um what's that what's that um spirit that people put in coffee? Uh the the uh what's it called? Creamy cr uh, the creamy thing. <laughs> what's that creamy spirit? Like the I it's an Irish thing. Oh my god. Well how can I not remember what it's called? No, Baileys, there you go. People put Baileys in uh and whiskey, but whiskey's not creamy. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Bailey's. Thank you. Yes. There we go. <laughs> when you set the delay. And then 40 million people type the same word. It's beautiful. Garpo. Donning Nito. Let's do that. Why are you always driving the same track? Deal, de de deal with it. We could see if the V8's got better, but... Uh... I don't know what we, we do. We do we do we risk a formula? Oh, I don't know what to do. What to do? What did we drive before that was really fun? That it's not too fast, but not too slow. I mean, these these seem to be like the best to me at the moment. Automobilist to two is the P4, P3, P2, P1 simulator. <laughs> these are the only cars that seem really good to me. Oh. Maybe they've improved this one. I'm going to create a new uh, sesh, actually. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe, Thomas. Do we 220 likes? That's 100 likes per hour. Thank you, everyone. Okay, Room Academy. Good one. We'll do that. Good, good pick, Torps. He might be a pastor, but sometimes he has good ideas. As long as you don't overcook him. I'm going to create a new session here. Host session, it's called Gamer Muscle 02. Password is T in capital letters. That's not how you spell T. I'm tapping my gloves, that's my excuse. And I've done it again. And yeah, that's a good idea. Might go for like a medium speed one that's not so ridiculous. Well, these are all sequential. I always forget that you, they, they do do a Caterham that's not sequential, but I think that's just, it's like a low down bet. Basically, if you buy a Caterham 7 or Superlight or whatever, you, you can, uh, they do it in loads of different specs. I think 125 horsepower would be the sweet spot here. Uh, okay. That'll do. I think Game of Muscle Community Races are really good compared to public lobbies. Thank you, Thomas V. They are, because we, we're the best. <laughs> debatable. That's debatable, but, you know. We, we're all right. We're all right, lobbies. Oh, dear. What do I think about the chance of having a 2019 DTM DLC in our factor 2 in the future? I don't think it will happen because um, Race Room have the the license for DTM. They've just added the 2020 DTM cars to Race Room, I believe. So that's not going to happen. Also, uh, Codemasters just got the license for WRC from 2023 onwards. So I guess um, Big Ben Interactive, is it, that, that currently do w the WRC games? 
I uh, guess that's it. <laughs> God knows what they're going to do. But that could be interesting if it means that Codemasters basically have access to the tracks. That's all right if you behave yourself, Mr. Fortnite. Got to be chill. Uh, yeah, well, we see, we're, that's going to be interesting. Madness Engine, Colin McRae, WRC, <laughs> Clyton. Yeah, there you go. But I, those WRC games are, are great. I, I like them. WRC, I, from the last one, I find it fun. It doesn't have VR, unfortunately. But the new one should do if it's Madness Engine. And PlayStation 5, I think, will have an emphasis on VR. So, yeah, should be, should be good. Let's start this off. Uh, no, I don't think they will lose the F1 license because that's making them a lot of money. And Formula 1 are happy with that, what Codemasters do. You know, in fairness to Codemasters... Um, it's it's not a bad well <laughs> look it's not f from a from a game player perspective it's not the most exciting of games but if you're like an f1 general fan and you look at ip licensed games the codemasters formula one games aren't actually that bad not you, on the grand scheme of ip licensed games it's actually pretty good um you know, from from a sim racer f um, and and like a hardcore gamer's perspective, they're complete shit. But from a general consumer perspective, console gaming perspective, they're they're not they're not terrible, especially on the console side. Uh, you know. Hello, Paul Smith. I don't have an icon for Fred Dibner Smith. How's it going, man? They won't make an arcade game um, for the dirt games. <laughs> they alternate. Bloody hell. Sneezing and... What's going on? Yeah, they, I think they make good money off it. You know, that's the point of IP times. As much as uh, some of us might lament aspects of it, you know. Do you ever no graphic pull? Yeah. I Oh here we go. We've got the roll cage. We'll be making use of that for sure. Oh, hang on. C C C Mira Mira C Mira I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, I've got a bollard in my f f <laughs> and gone. <laughs> well, you know, executive command taken by Chili Dog there. <laughs> we have the power. This car doesn't seem to want to turn in much on the uh, brakes. Maybe that's a brake bias thing, though. Oh, no, I can't adjust a brake bias on this steering wheel. Huge error. There's no roly-polies on this one. Oh, well. This is ploughing in a straight line. I'm going to have to... Uh Oh, we're just doing this out. Where is the brick bus? Brick, brick bus. Oh, you can't change it on this, can you? Shit. Ah, there we go. Fifty-six should do it. Go. I don't know. Won't worry about it. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know this... Oh. oh what's going on? The force feedback's just broken on the car. <laughs> now... Oh, no, it's back now. What was that about? That was weird. Force feedback broke on the car. And then just came back. See, this this car seems to have the same problem that Formula car has, and it's rotating. It feels like the the handling feels dislocated from the tyres. It's really weird because that P, the that P car, the the car, the, the P1 class car, doesn't do this. So why are some of these other cars? A steering rack failure. Why are some of these other cars doing this, but that other that other car doesn't? That, that's. I wonder what it is that causes that. MS2 is perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, is he's here to the the troll lord, troll again. Do you see what I mean? What's happening is, it's like the car's on it on a path. <laughs> it's like separate to what you're doing. Why would the other... Like, you would understand it if all the cars did that, but those P cars don't do it. Very strange. We just stick to that P, the P cars, I think. You convince people to pay for videos for some blurry emojis. <laughs> hey, my blurry emojis are the best blurry emojis. They're specifically designed for people with bad eyesight to save them having to worry that they're missing anything. If anything, I'm, I'm, I'm helping unite people with bad eyesight and good eyesight together in one blurry world. Very generous. Well, we're going to win this. Capitalist trolling. Paul Stoker. Ah, oh, no, thanks, man. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> the new Game of Muscle Rant series. We, we, we destroyed YouTube's algorithm. Giant, f stupid thumbnail of my face with an obvious, with, with stupid text on it. It's what YouTube wants. Maximum promotion. I do like the bollards. Don't reset during the session. <laughs> Paul Smith's all about the bollards. Do you know what? If I was at, if, if I'm at a racetrack, I would love to steal... Actually, I better not say this in case I do it. Then, then I'll look. Then I'll, then I'll look really guilty if I'm like doing a YouTube video at a racetrack, and then the next day I'm at home and there's a bollard next to my sim rig. <laughs> Guys, I'm just saying, if I happen to go on a racetrack, and I, you know, bollards would probably be kind of cool thing to take from a racetrack. I'm, I'm just, you know, imagine having a Brands Hatch bollard, and I can keep it next to my sim rig. So if, 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 <laughs> I nearly took, I nearly took something from the Monte Carlo rally, but I thought, oh, I better not, because there were police all around. I didn't have much time. <laughs> but the temptation was real. They had the uh, Parc Ferme. Uh, you know, you know when they start the rally uh, in, in uh, the actual Monaco thing, and they had the, like, timing board signs, uh, and because I was like, I was really lucky, I had like a press pass, so I was just literally just like next to the car, like next to everything. <laughs> I could have so easily have took the timing board. <laughs> ah, the temptation, guys. I've never been so tempted to steal something. I was like, oh! <laughs> but, you know, it, it probably would have, probably wouldn't have gotten away with it. And uh, probably, you know, wouldn't, 
Wouldn't it have been the polite thing to do, but oh man. Those little, you know, the circular clock thing. Ah, oh, how good would it be to own one of them? Uh, Izzy, I'm just, um, I've just been inspired by the British government, you know. That's, that's all it is. See, see. Right, this should help. Let's move the camera forwards a bit. Oh, that, that helps a little bit. Oh, that, that helps make it feel a bit more connected. Yeah, I could buy one. I wouldn't really... I wouldn't nick it, really. <laughs> or would I? Woohoo! <laughs> I mean... It would be really cool to have one of those from like a from like a rally like a like a Welsh rally. Ah, oh, guys, emotional moment here. Emotional moment. Put your cameras in the air. Day day go in the day day way. Oh, what a babe, what a beauty, what a sexy woman. So day day go in the day day way. Oh, in the double D D legs and the D D's in her bed. D D go. Needy girl, clap your hands for the needy girl. It's a needy girl with a needy wheel. She's got super strong, high torque power wrists. Take her out for a meal. Feed her 500 watts of power. Take her to the park. Clock her down into a sim rig and watch her drive a lap of your life. A needy girl. She's so powerful and strong, she will drive around you. Ding, ding, <laughs> with a ding, ding wheel. All the power and the torque. Ding, ding, girl, with a ding, ding wheel. Pack your force, sing your cute fanatec. Ding, girl, with a ding, ding wheel. Some say she's run out of lyrics. There she goes. Thank you. <laughs> The lyrics may or may not be made up on the spot. Subtitles. <laughs> Just watch the video with uh, Google um, annotations sorted. Thank you, uh, JH. Appreciate that. Absolute DD girl in it. Now the, the lyrics are transient. You can't nail these lyrics down. It's a song that constantly evolves. All right. <laughs> See you, Paul. Guys, check out Paul Smith, Smileable on Twitch. He's your favourite train sim player. And uh, City Skylines. And uh, eye racing when he when he wants to suffer. Check his channel out. <laughs> it should involve, well, you know, <laughs> French biscuit sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> oh, I took a I took a girl. I met a girl out in a club, and we we went home and. Uh, Oh, we had a French biscuit. <laughs> we tried a French biscuit together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, she, she was a bit of a French biscuit. How long till DD Girl songs on Spotify? I don't know. When we can license the backing track. Say no more. Load cell man. <laughs> Takes the pressure better than you can. You you could be a singer. You're good with computers. Use auto tune. I read Jones would thank you. Uh, I'm. Yeah. Could do a remix. Oh dear. Get on the fruity loops. Get the synths going. 
Remember to side chain those uh, the, the 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 baseline. Side chain everything. This car's a slidey mother. Uh, I don't know which one this is. I'm, I'm not doing very. I'm, I'm driving very slow. This, this is a bit of a problem. Let's try and drive better. <laughs> Real menus keep. Ah, oh, well, then you get people going. Oh no! I, hang on. Are you an Apple user? Wims out of himself. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wims out of himself here. Guys, filing accounts made a huge error. <laughs> Six months of despair. Uh oh. Ah, uh, kick. Fruity Loops, where it's at. Let's be honest here. Come on. Huge error. It used to matter, but now. I mean, I know. I, what, how is he so much faster than it? <laughs> Hang on. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> Block it blocked. Blockade. <laughs> oh, well, he's broken. The, there's no DD girls, is it? Is he uh, using the old radiator hack? He's so much... For some reason, we seem like really... We just seem slower. In the wrong in the wrong way. I mean, I've probably got too much... Tons of fuel. I like, know. Oh, Air restrictor's fine. I don't know what's going on here. No song you've been bamboo. Yeah, I don't like you. Sorry. Ah, I've got to use more speed. Where's the radiator? Oh no, it's not even on. It's there. So what's going on? I'm just, I'm just sluggish. Ah. Oh. Well, see, it's the end of quality. Well, that's that. Where's D? I doubt it's retired. Finding a account doesn't get a DD girl. Apologies. She's got. She's gone to the retirement home now to die of COVID. <laughs> that's not funny. That's just depressing. Oh dear. Weird car. Yeah, it's a little bit funky. I think next time we race. Uh, this this sim, I think we'll stick to the P cars. And uh, um, um, well, we can we can. I might go through a bunch of the cars in single player to like just check them all, and then I'll, I'll write a list of all the ones that are like past my gamer muscle threshold for pure excitement. I don't think this is the same level as AMS One was. Really bad. Uh, well, AMS One had a lot more development. I, th I think it's this will keep improving. To be honest. It is, yeah, all the cars are generally easy to control. We uh, should be going to the race, hopefully. Well, that is true. It is definitely not the fastest of cars. I just wanted something a bit more chilled out, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd like a little bit more grip from this car, I think. I think that's what it is. It's a little bit too slippy. Lateral grip. The braking's all right on it. Oh, no. Are we... S I hope we're not stuck. Ah. Oh, I think we might be... Uh that, I think that bug might still be there, guys. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, what's going on? Ah, we have to make. We're gonna have to make a new session, guys. What? They're leaving the pit. So why is this like stuck on here? What's going on?
It's like if you're in the pit, it, get, it does have a habit of getting stuck on this screen. Weird. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to have to make a new server, guys. Great. Hello, Pixel Therapy. Welcome back. Can I tell you? Right, let's let's. I tell you what. Catering Academy. Let's do this. I'm done it. I'm a, I'm ahead of you, Torts. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Oh, hello. DD girl with a DD wheel. She has force feedback in her arms, in her legs. DD girl with a DD wheel. DD girl loves the force feedback of AMS2. ACC, PC2, Irising. Even AC. DD girl with a DD wheel. Enjoy it all while you seriously can. Seven quintillion oh, seven hundred and seventy seven oh. quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion is, seven hundred and seventy seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven <laughs> million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. Ah, oh, oh, there you go. It wasn't too bad. Thank you for that. Thank you very much for the money, for the money and the number donation. What will I put? I'm not getting a supercar. I'm a hippie. <laughs> it's like this assumption that all YouTubers become a rich or. I, I wouldn't buy an expensive road car. <laughs> I would do. Um, I I don't know. I'd just save money. <laughs> I think Jimmy's younger than me. Um, I I just need. I'd save money. <laughs> I save money. I, I I would only feel secure if I had like two years of income saved. Uh, I'm old. I'm gonna think about retirement. <laughs> you know, uh, then I'd have Skoda City go. I do a track. I do like a track day or something. I, I'd really like to. Uh, I'd like to do some glider flying. That's not even that expensive. It's cheaper throttle, than go throttle, throttle, throttle. DD girl with a DD wheel with a 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 DD girl thanks for that chip band band tanaman that's where it's at Jimmy Broadbent's playing Farming Simulator. What are you doing, man? <laughs> He's popped up on my Steam. Two girls, one DD wheel. Right, let's hope this works. Let's see if this is a little bit better than the other one. Thank you, Badana Badana Badanaton, filing account, JH. Oh, the cockpit looks better quality in this. Oh yeah, this has better this has better tires on it. Did the other car have like I'm sure this has road tires as well. So what's going on with the other... Uh, it still washes out a bit weirdly, but... Definitely handles a bit better. <laughs> Why not? It's slidey. Uh, it looks... It looks uh, nice. Graphics have improved a lot. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Are you trying to say there's a problem with the differential in this in this game engine? Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's just quiet, Thomas. I, I, do you mean in the stream or do you mean in the game? Sandy Schmidt. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's weird. Maybe uh, corrupted files. There's an annoying click in the uh, engine loop sound. I've ruined the car for you guys now. Now I've pointed that out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's some weird stuff going on with the grip levels of this car. It, it's randomly got grip and then hasn't. <laughs> Need a valve adjust. Ah, 310 likes, 300 likes per hour. 100 likes per hour for three hours. Nice one, guys. Appreciate that. It's <laughs> broken G25. Oh, no. going to be interesting to race. It wasn't me. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, come on, come on. It's time to retire. Uh, G25s are amazing, though. At, at this point, his G25 was uh, like a Roman artifact. Come, come with a mosaic and underfloor heating. Right, I'm staying out on track and hopefully it lets us go to the next session without issue. Yeah, G G25 is great. Death avoidance, thank you. <laughs> it's cast trolley and everywhere. Well the good thing with the G twenty five is if you leave it plugged into your PC when your computer updates and reboots, it's as if you've got a poltergeist, especially if you leave it on the floor, it rolls around the floor. <laughs> as it as it calibrates the the dance of the people of the G25 <laughs> beautiful sound that's how you know you that's how you know you're a sim racer <laughs> you'd have thought logitech would maybe dial that down a bit but i don't know Yeah, I'm not convinced about this car either. I mean, we're just going to have to stick to the, the, P, the P series cars when we play this. It's going to be the P134 Brazilian World Tour. That doesn't make any sense, but it rhymes, so it's acceptable. Wee clonk, wee clonk, wee centred. PS5 reveal date. 
Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5. So, uh, please donate. <laughs> please use my Fanatic affiliate link. Uh, please, or, or, you know, or maybe I could just make good content. Shit. But yeah, I'm going to get one. I've never bought a console at launch. Or have I? No, I've never bought a games console at launch. And uh, so I've decided to waste money on a PlayStation 5. That's like morning coffee. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, Joss. Right, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, war hat my way to fourth. Come on, go to next session. Qualifying session over, and... Oh! There we go. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't a launch. Oh, thank you, Van Toastiari. Or I totally ruined your name there. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that, man. He's, he's probably just subscribing off the video. I'm pretty sure we're on, like, five, 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 five or very close. Can't be that far off. Uh, it's in race session, so you can't join. Uh, a place, uh, Sony basically said that um, any game that comes out on the PS4 from like now has to also work on the PlayStation 5. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about peripherals. You'd hope so, because. Uh, I mean, I'd be really pissed if I bought a, the Fanatec podium that I'm using. Oh, no, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Look, what, what we've ruined another man's life or woman. I mean, I don't know. But Toby Classic, I'm going to go with a guy. I'm judging your gender by your name there. Um, look what's happened, guys. <laughs> Get on that mute button. Another emotional moment. Oh, no, maybe it's not working. It, it's a bit broken. It's totally broken. Thank you, man, for becoming a... I, I think it's broken. Oh, there she is. Need a girl with a need a wheel. What a babe, what a beautiful girl. It's a need a girl. She's so perfect and strong. DD girl with a DD wheel with the DD motors for her legs. DD girl with a DD wheel. All the talk in her wrist. Oh no! I <laughs> can jump the star. Oh, we're alright, we're alright. <laughs> so. Jumps the start of the race because she is a DD girl with a DD wheel. She's got all the power and the strength in her arms. It's a DD girl, DD wheel. She uses all the DDs. Active Force, Sydney Cube, Family Tech, Sid Magic, and the other ones. <laughs> Straight to second with the power of the DD girl. <laughs> oh, so ruined the sub there. Jumped the star. Avoided carnage. Oh, dear. Absolute DD disaster. Oh, my God, I can't even hear my engine. Thank you, Toby Classic. Sorry for ruining the DD girl. Bonanza. What is going on with the back of this car? Stop driving a trolley. Really appreciate you becoming a member, man. Total emotion. <laughs> what a babe. Yeah, she is very good. I'm so Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's that's Didi Didi Frauen. And oh, hang <laughs> oh no! I've just killed people there. Eh? We like lagwinkled the car in front. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
that wasn't optimal. Bloody hell, guys. Cheers, Toby Classic. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Hello, Matthew Bedford. Wow, guilty. Yeah, I'll take a guilty there. It, was, it wasn't intentional. Oh, thanks, Matthew. We'll have more VR videos coming soon. I was uh, too much faster for them whilst I killed them all. Tell you what, one of the benefits of being a channel member is you get um, you get your, your comments are at the top of the videos. I think is that is that true? <laughs> I just said it. I don't even know if that's true. I, I think they are now. I think as of like two weeks ago, channel members' comments show up at the top, or they're separate, or something on mobile at least. I don't know. Something was going on with them. DD Machen. Uh, now I now want to go to Germany again. Land of the amazing women. Off we go to Germany. When are they opening the borders? Not allowed to go to Greece. We're on the we're on the blacklist. Ach, die die Frauen, would you like the French biscuit? Ah, uh, the German German ladies love the French biscuit. <laughs> oh yeah! Give on me the biscuit to French. What's biscuit in German? Biscotten. I'm biscuit. <laughs> I'm biscuitin. <laughs> oh my god! I can't drive. Uh, am I going there? I don't know. Maybe. Oh my god, I cannot drive. Who's Dr. Stevens uh, passed us there? Uh, well, when it's out, when it's finished, I'll do a wheel setup thing. As it is right now, the only car I'm like fully convinced about are the those P cars. Other than that, the other the other cars are just there's, there's something not not like clicking for me. Twenty in twenty forty three. Oh, look at the uh, dash on this. It's nice. I like a good dash. I, I actually have a soft spot for. Uh, 80s digital display dashes. I have to say, I think that's peak car dash. You can't beat you can't beat an 80s digital car dash. We've got to catch up with Mr. Dave Steven here. Aerox is in first place, very secret second. Dot Steven in third. Ah, nice one. Yeah, didn't they say that adding uh, Silverstone should be good? Oh, he's missed the break point. Coming through, boy. Oh! Okay, we're not coming through, clearly. That was very unfair. I, fe I felt like we were driving all right there. Oh, it's the pasta. <laughs> there goes third place. <laughs> Needed a VR headset for that corner. Oh, come on. Oh. 
Oh, what? <laughs> Why he just doesn't want to like stick to the road through there? <laughs> the other car's gone full Serengeti joyride up the hillside. Here we see the caterer wildly out of control into the crowd. Uh, 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 uh. ACC's only got bloody GT3 cars in it, and there should be a ban on GT3 cars. <laughs> Fort Massman, do you play, you play AC1? It's, 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 that's so much better than ACC. Controversial. Hello, Hindu Music for Life. GT3 Spa. Ah, oh, guys, my next the, the video that we're putting live tomorrow. Con controversial video about GT3 racing. Oh, it's going to get a lot of dislikes. <laughs> it's probably, probably going to be the most disliked video in the history of the channel, but it's true. What, what I'm saying, it's true. Good force feedback in it. Oh, get out. It's sort of triggering me. He's, he's put, you put the words A, you, ACC and force feedback in the same sentence. <laughs> oh, man. Upsetting. Don't do this to me. Wow, Tortellini, you bugger. He did that on purpose. You bugger. <laughs> Stuck in the sand. <laughs> he did stop for us. It was very nice of him. After killing us. They say the bad about Wow. You know. There may or may not be a uh, f 15 minute rant about GT3 cars. That, you know, possibly. When, when are we getting the official DD? I, no, everyone's. I can't offer it. It's, it's uh, part of the private collection. It's, it's that, that's going in the Tate Modern, the DD Girl song. When are the GT4 cars meant to be coming out for ACC? Is that... Do you think that'll be soon? Because they've done the... Oh, God. They've done the sale. I think GT4 cars would be really interesting because they, they might possibly have semi-OK force feedback due to them. Uh, G, GT4 cars are just less downforce and peaky than uh, GT3. But they could also just be absolutely terrible. So it'll be interesting. I hope, I hope they're good because uh, with the tracks and stuff and the sounds, I think GT4 would just be, it'll be better in general for online racing than GT3. Like we, when we've done GT4 cars in any simulator, they tend to be more conducive to pick up racing than GT3. Yeah, maybe, maybe like end of this month then. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Oh. My game just bloody paused. Oh, well, RSS Formula 3. It's a natural term tech. Yeah, unfortunately, she would turn discs at 200 RPM. The whole DJ set would be over in, like, a minute. Three hours of DJing gone. Uh, I guess so. That makes sense. That'd be that. It's a shame that it, it's not. I don't think it's going to be uh, cross-play between consoles and PC because uh, I know it's, it's like a hard thing to do with more complicated games, but. 
that would uh, be awesome for player numbers. Nah, it's gonna be interesting with the new Forza games, you know, when they come out, because they'll be they'll be cross-play. And the new, I I get the impression that the new Forza will be. Uh, they'll take stuff from GT Sport with the online ranking. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Turn 10 have never done good physics. But, I mean, Forza Horizon's fun physics. So, Forza Horizon 4. So, it could, you know, that with ranking would be quite good. Oh, no, Tyrant Worm. Kappa. I did that. The amount of times I get that comment. Oh, you, you've not set your wheel up correctly. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, the guy that's owned pretty much every four-seat back wheel on the market plays every single driving simulator and has <laughs> used the sim on, on multiple other people's simulators. Doesn't know how to set the four-seat back wheel. <laughs> it's like, that's what the guy this YouTube channel was set up specifically around controller reviews doesn't know how to set it up <laughs> it's like the dumbest comments people say oh dear mind you it's just a game uh For forza horizon 4 is great with a wheel you you have to make sure it's not on simulation mode and you have to set up your steering sensitivity really high um it's fine as an arcade racer, I thought it was fine. With the CSL Elite is what I was playing it with. It's really good. Ah, oh, gee. We, one place off Glorious 7th here. Force feedback in cold. There's no vehicles in cold. Oh, no, there is now, isn't there? Guys, I've got an advanced plan here. I've got a technique that might or might not work. What a line! Straight to sixth place. <laughs> we still did the Donington lap. <laughs> Penalties are turned off. Marshalls didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. Marshalls didn't see nothing. That was a what a what a line. <laughs> What a line. Textbook. That is how you cut 10, 15, 20 seconds off your lap time. <laughs> I didn't know if that would work. Six, oh, bloody hell. Stop it, you buggers. Oh, Christ. Stop it. This needs to, like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, well done, Aerox. Very secret. Thank you, Dan. Just the boss. Toker 2 3. <laughs> Mix up 38. probably wondering how I overtook him. <laughs> He's probably like, hang on a minute. Where did that place go? Say Dan in 8th. Totally in 9th. Nino 10th. You did this 11th. Oh my god. Big brain. Right, thanks, Tortellini. That really helped. Oh, man. Jesus, what is going on here? This is like Jurassic Park, stuck in a tree. Oh, my... This is this is what it's like driving... Oh, there it is. Nice. Uh. Right. Good, good job, guys. Thanks for smashing my wheel up. Ah, uh, right. I'm finishing things there because uh, this was only going to be a turbo stream. But, uh, yeah, Where, where's Automobilista 2 at? Uh, maybe I have to do a video encapsulating our thoughts on it. But uh, it seems like the P cars are the only really good ones at the moment uh, that I'm really happy with. Uh, the graphics have massively been improved. UI and stuff seems improved. Um, I'm sure there's other underlying stuff that's improved. But, you know, from the multiplayer perspective, there's still, like, weird collision stuff happening. Uh, yeah. So, bring on 1.0. <laughs> this case room was worse. But, yeah. Guys, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for becoming members, subscribing and liking all that business. Um, 
I will see you. Got well, watch our video tomorrow, and uh, I will see you in the next live stream soon. Hopefully, good night. Take care, and uh, happy tip. Let's get the credits on here. I, I've lost my credit button. No. Oh, there, there it is. That yeah, was good racing, guys. Uh, maybe not the closest to race. Maybe, maybe a few punts there. There you go. Thank you for donating. Bad, 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 nation. Filing account with the minimal number troll. Super tax from GW with the epic £10 smash wankle in the face. Subscriptions from Hipster Octagon. Super Sluber, Spy Baz, Lavalar Holman, <laughs> Yan Tastayari, <laughs> Taste, Taste, what well, you know. Members, John Orley, JH, and Toby Classic. Absolute beast in it. DD girls. See you guys. Goodbyes.